All right, Chris, we are live here at uh, Bakerfield at Union County. Crittenden County Rockets uh, coming off a loss last week against Caldwell County, 22-0. Um, looking to take on, this is Union County's first game of the season, so we don't really know exactly what we're going to see from them. Of course, we've, uh, we've seen most of these kids from uh, Union County before. They are uh, they're mostly seniors, seniors and a, and a crop of sophomores. Here come the Rockets onto the field. It was senior night here. We're proud to be broadcasting this game, the Crittenden Press, here on YouTube Live. Your commentators and play-by-play -play tonight will be former Rockets Mike Crabtree, Tanner Tabor, and Ethan Dossett. These guys will take you through the game and uh, maybe take a little break at halftime and <coughs> Keep it right here. So uh, enjoy the football game. This is our first live broadcast, so if there are any bugs in it, bear with us. <laughs> hey, hey, we're just glad that uh, we can bring the game to the, all those that couldn't get in. So uh, hopefully uh, we'll make it enjoyable for you guys. We want to thank our sponsors uh, tonight, Whitetail Properties and Mark Williams, Shara Solutions on the New York Stock Exchange, Homestead Realty, when you buying or selling. Farmers Bank, your trusted hometown bank since 1899. Riley Tool and Machine, grinding away for Rocket Football. First United Bank, Deer Lakes Golf Course, home of the Rockets. Seaplant Federal Credit Union, now on Main Street in Marion. Johnson's Furniture, your top choice for sales and service. Ellington Detailing, or we keep our rockets looking sharp. Par 4 Plastics, our team is rocket proud. Al Starnes, Coldwell Breaker, real estate, always a rocket. All right, we got four minutes, uh, four seconds. Rockets have, we'll get the ball to start the game. Can you see? There you go. I got Ethan here with me now. They just finished up doing the uh, pregame show. Feels like football down here today, don't it, Ethan? It's a beautiful evening. I'm excited to get this thing kicked off and see what we can do tonight. All right. Here comes the kick. Taken by Winters at the 20. Tackled by number 60 for Union County, Spencer Wyatt. So here comes the Rockets offense, Mike. I just got up here <laughs> and then got stopped on the way. Um, we didn't get a lot on that, but we got decent field position. I mean, can't, can't hate. <coughs> Rockets going to take off on uh, the 34-yard line, three wide to the right, one back to the left, uh, one back to the right. And it's a screen to the right. Oh. oh, me. He actually got there a little early, I thought. Yeah. Number seven read that play right off the bat. One that, thing's for sure, you knew what was coming on. Who's number 17? Number 17 Morgan. is Preston Morganson. He looks like he was shaking. Tonight. He was shaking up, but he is all right. He stayed out there. Got McGay hand at center tonight. All right. Three to the right, running back to the right. Sweep right to Xander. 
Nice. Just not much there, guys. Just not much there. Seemed like it, for a sweep, that was kind of a slow developing play. Yeah, I agree with that, Mike. Uh, and even when we did finally get that ball out there and a couple blockers set up, Union County was right there. Yeah, the they'd already had Hey, time third, to there. third and ten. Three to the left. Running back to the left. Oh, he's got, he's got oh, oh wow. interception. Intercepted by number 20. He's still on his feet, and Preston Turley got him. Oh, number 20 did some pretty good run in there. Yeah, that was an athletic move. Well, Mike, I'm just not really sure what happened there on that throw. It looked like Morgison did a good job. Came. Of open down the field and extending the play. It just, I don't know if it slipped or just. Uh, it didn't seem like there was a lot of whip on that ball no, there. there. There just wasn't much on it. But I do uh, give the props to Preston Morgison. He did exactly what you're supposed to do in that situation. That interception by number 20, Kane Pollard for Union County. Rocket defense uh, comes out now. See, they're still they still haven't spotted the ball. What's going on? Uh, was it a penalty on Union? Looks like it. They're going to spot the ball at the 50-yard line. Got a holding call that time on Union County. On the return. Union County comes out. Two backs. Quarterback under center. High formation. Hands to number nine, Corinthian Portis. Talking about host of Rockets. Tyler Boone was in there. That went nowhere for Union County. Somebody held him up. They got away from him. They're, they're a little. They got some good running backs. It looks like but that, our defense swarmed that time. It looked like Mundy hit the guy first. Number eight, Mundy hit him first. Didn't wrap him up, but knocked, slowed him down just enough for everybody else to get there. That was good pursuit. So you're looking at second and thirteen. Ball on the 46. All right, they're in the gun. Running back to each side. Two wideouts to the left. Hand up up the middle. Oh me, he's got room. That's what we can't let happen. That was number 23, Chris Hughes. They ran a little cross play out of the backfield out of that and a little misdirection and got a little bit of running room and then he turned the Jets on. Got 14 on the play, that's enough for a first down. Looks like Courtney's keeping his defense in a uh, man coverage tonight, looking to load up the box and stop the run like we talked about earlier. Well, we've seen in the past, Union County is not necessarily, they're not a throwing team. They are, they are a run first team. They're in shotgun formation again, back to each side, two wideouts to the left, one to the right. Low snap. He's passing. No. Number overthrew the, uh, his receiver bad. Yeah, Sheffer overthrew his uh, inside receiver running a slant. You know, Sheffer's a big name over here in Union County. And uh, I don't, there's always seems like there's a Sheffer on a Union County team. They're slow to get to the huddle and come out kind of traditional where we run straight to the line of scrimmage and don't huddle. Kind of an old school run the clock kind of offense. He's, they got split backs. Quarter, Sheffer's under center, two to the right, one to the left. Counter play to number nine. It went nowhere. He was met by Tyler Boone for no, glank, no gain on the play. Kind of ran like tried to do a little cross in the backfield there. Whenever they did, it just didn't work for him. Defense smelled that one coming. I, I think you kind of going to find out pretty quick if he's slow to develop a run play. It's just not going to work against our line. Well, this is a passing down, maybe two down territory, third and ten. We got 9-17 to go in the ball game in the first quarter, I'm sorry. First quarter, not the ball game. <laughs> we got trips left, uh, number nine to the right of the quarterback. He adjusted to the left. It is a pass. Pass was completed to number one, Ben Shreve. Tackle by number four for okay, the Rockets. That is Carlson, number four, Carlson. You got You're fourth looking at, and four? Yeah, fourth and four, maybe a long three. 
Big play, big play here. Big play for the defense. The money down, they say. I would anticipate a power run here, fourth and three from a team like this. They're going eye formation. Quarterback under center. Hand off up the middle to Corinthian, and he's not going to get there. I don't think so either. He didn't get there. I think the defense did a good job of swarming that this time. He might have gained one. He's short. Tyler Boone, Dylan Yates on the tackle. So that turnover didn't hurt us this time. He did not, but that's something that uh, – it bit us in the, in the butt last week was our interceptions. One of them went back for a touchdown. Uh, Rockets right. are taking a minute to get out on the field. Um, see if we're going to do anything different. See what comes out of this. So we got first and 10 for the Rockets on the 28. Eight minutes and eight seconds to go in the first quarter. Uh, well, it looks like we got two tights. Hand off to Xander around the right. Got a little running room, picked up a couple, three yards. Nice run by Xander that time. Looks like a gain of about five. But also, they did a good, the line did a good job that time of giving him a hole. Well, yeah, there. anyway, we're not down there. We'll but give him three and a half. We're in the eye? No. This is the uh, pistol. Formation, two tights. Uh, Xander bounced that out to the right. Where that flag is, I bet that ends up being holding. What do you bet? Not arguing. Didn't this is, see it, but right where it was at. And this is what was happening to us last week. We would get positive on first and second, Come and on. we'd have a penalty. Put us behind the chains. That's what a call is. Holding on the Rockets. Holding against the Rockets. So that will make it second and 15, roughly. Not a lot of not a lot of yardage on that last run, but man, we can't start shooting ourselves in the foot. We had over 100 yards of, of penalties last week. Two tights again for the Rockets. Oh, fumble in the backfield a little bit by Crowder. He ends up keeping it and just ducks his head. Good job turning nothing into something right there. That's right. Yeah. I don't know if he was going to throw a pass or that was supposed to be a handoff to Xander, but uh, anyway, had enough gain of five yards on the play. It's going to bring up third, Thank you. third and 12. We are in two tights. Ethan says play action pass here. No, just straight. Well, we got a screen. a screen. It's to Morganson. He's got some running room. He's got some blockers. I don't think he's going to have enough, but he's going to be within a yard maybe. Look like uh, it's going to be fourth and two maybe. Gain of 10 yards on that play. Rockets come out in the, point, uh, the punt formation. Doesn't look like Union County's going to send anyone back. Yeah, closer. I'm getting texts saying they're having trouble hearing Ethan and I, so we'll try to get a little louder. There you go. Winters is the punter, number three, rolling out. Nice oh, man. He nailed another one. Get that ball. We got it. We got that ball. Fumble. Woo! Number 11. Trace Darrington recovers that for the Rockets, first and 10. That was an awesome punt. He did that again. It kind of went over his head. He tried to catch it. Once he touched the ball, that makes that live. And uh, Darrington comes down and gets a hold of it. So not only did we get the recovery, but man, look at our field position. That's right, first and 10 for the Rockets on the 22 yard line. Heck of a punt by Winters. That's one of those spiraling punts. That's how the pros do it. Yeah. That's the second time. That's the second game he's done that. He did it last week. That's awesome. That's a, I don't know, it was 45, 50 yard punt. We're back in uh, two tight end set. One wide out to the far left. 
We're going to throw the, the ball. Oh, man, that's way up there. Preston Morganson with a touchdown! Woo! What a play! What a pass! That was awesome. Uh, when I saw it going up, I was like, oh, me, oh, me. But, man, well, that hey, was on the money. The guy was there. That's kind of one of those back shoulder throws you yeah. hear him talk about in the pros. Luke Kreider with a heck of a pass. Preston Morganson with an even better catch. And the Rockets have their first touchdown of the season. Exactly right. That was just a good looking throw and a better looking catch. So he went up and got that ball and just a good play right there. Positive side. Lined up in our old slinging gate. It's always good when you can turn. <clears throat> it's, it's, you, you have a turnover, take a shot, you know. So traditional extra point. Perkins for the kick. It is good. Rockets on the board, 7-0. There's 5.42 to go in this first quarter. I want to thank a couple more of our sponsors. We got YTG Insurance. Call for a quote today. Mike and Stoner's Barbershop, where a haircut is an experience. Always an experience. On Fridays, it's, it's a, a football experience. H&H <laughs> &H Home and Hardware, your one-stop shop for everything. Marion Eye Care Center, Dr. Adria Porter, optometrist. Magnolia Bank, Derek Myers, mortgage specialist, Fraser and Massey Law Offices in Marion. And again, a special thanks to Marion Baptist Church for letting us use this equipment. Well, Mike and Tanner, what we saw right there was that uh, deep, or Union County loading up the box came back to bite them a little bit. We've got a lot of good athletes, and to be playing press man coverage on Preston Morgison like that, it can hurt you. Yeah. Hey, that was a beautifully thrown ball. It was. It was, it was. a real play. It was a great play. Got the ball out quick before that free safety could work his way over there. What I like just, to see – you know, he's a, Crowder threw a pick, but that didn't – he's not – his confidence isn't shaking. He stepped up and made a throw right there. Yes, he did. Pooch kick. Take him out. Oh, Fumble they dropped again. that one too. <laughs> Darrington in on that tackle. As well as number 15. You know, I don't know about your Logan Bailey. Coaches. But when the ball gets on the ground and you miss it, you don't try to pick it up. Well, listen, you get I want it. I, I am trained and I'm coaching little league. If I see fumbles tonight and we yell fumble, it's just I, can't I mean, help it. <laughs> I you'll know there's thing. a fumble because we're hollering. So, but you've been taught that since you played little league. Balls on the ground, you scream fumble. That's right. I think you were my little league coach. I was. All right, and I Rocket was Ethan too. <laughs> Rocket defense coming out. Ball on the 24 yard line for Union County. There in the gun with. Split backs, two receivers to the right, one to the left. It's going to be a run oh. to fourth, number nine. He's got nowhere to go. Nice. First, McAllister. Nice. McAllister got him. Trace Darrington got him. That was nice. Whenever he came around the end and I didn't see anybody coming up very quick, I thought, oh, no. Oh, McAllister was, scra great job. was yeah. scraping just like we were taught. He come from that backer spot, scraped across, and it. Uh, That's no gain on that play. It's going to be second and ten for Union County. Ball on the 24. Five minutes, ten seconds to go in the first quarter. Rockets lead seven to zero for you. Just turning in, tuning in, whatever. Rockets are in a three-man down lineman set, which traditionally that would be like a five-man front. But we we only right. have three down linemen. Two to the right, one to the left, split backs in the gun for Union County. It's a pass. Over the middle. Got a guy open. We oh. We almost got Number that ball. Number one away. made the catch. Logan Bailey was there and, and hit him. Ben Shreve? Ben Shreve, he uh made a heck of a catch. That he was got, a heck of a catch, and, and that wasn't bad coverage from Bailey. He was right where he was supposed to be. The, the receiver just made a great play on the ball. Yeah. Union breaks the huddle again, comes out and back to their same formation, two to the right, one to the left, in the gun, split backs. Run a counter there. Very little game. Dylan Yates Maybe. on that tackle. Um, there Maybe goes a yard the flag. and a half. That was there was a flag. I don't know what happened over there. That's way over there on their sideline. Might be a personal foul coming up here. Go, 
unsportsmanlike against Union County. It's going to take them back 15 yards. It's going to make it. That should be a dead ball penalty in the down count. Should make it second down and oh, about 22. 20. Rockets are going to take a timeout right here and talk about some things. So you're looking at second and 22. Ball on the 47 yard line. That just where, that's where it pays off to be a disciplined team right there. Cause that, that's really going to hurt them. After a big play, it takes all the momentum away. Uh, you know, so far what we've seen tonight, Mike, uh, like I said, they've loaded up the boxes tonight. They're playing man coverage on both sides of the ball, and they're daring these teams to throw the ball. And right now we're winning that battle. Uh, Crowder made a beautiful throw. Uh, we got that touchdown early on, and uh, we're stopping the run on defense. You have to give it to the Union County offense well ago on that pass. That was a right, well-thrown right. pass. And uh, like you say, Bailey was in position where he needed to be. You cannot let a deep back get behind you like that and you know, unless you know you can get the football. All right. Second and 22, ball on the 40-yard line. We got trips to the left, one to the right. I look for him to take a shot right here. Single back to the left. They're in the gun. Winter's creeping up like he's coming on stun. He coming. Pass to the right, number eight, number 17. That is Monday and Morganson combined on that tackle for a minimal gain. Much better coverage in the flat this week, guys. Much better. So, what do they say they picked up there? Uh, give them about four or five on it, not, not much more than five. So, they're still, looks like almost 20 yards. Maybe about 17, 15, yeah. 17 yards. Union but, takes their time in the huddle. They come out again. A little different set this time. They got three wideouts to the left, one to the right. One single back in the backfield. And there's a flag. Number 20 moved on that. So it's going to move them back again. Basically lost everything they just gained on that play. Yep. And that's a dead ball foul. Will they lose the play? We won't lose a down on that either, no, will they? No. Still third down. Third and 22. If you're critting in here, you got to load up and be ready for the big play. You yeah, you'd like to see some pressure. You know, they got to go for a long pass here, or a pass, you'd think. Or, or some kind of foolery somewhere. we got trips left, or three wideouts left, one to the right. They're back in the shotgun, I guess it's Sheffer. And that's it. He's dropping back with one back doing the pass rush. He's got nowhere to go. Thought he had a little room, and he did not. Came to McAllister with a sack. He came back, and I don't think that quarterback ever saw him coming. Oh, no. No, he ran him, he ran him down like a lion chasing a cheetah. <laughs> <laughs> that was what you call a coverage sack right here because looking down the field, there, there was, was not a go. receiver open anywhere. There was nowhere to go. Our, and he had some running room. Right. Well, our three linemen did a good job yeah, they, of they hard rush. There, yeah, they got back there in a hurry, but too. But he spurred it out right. to the left. That was just an all-around good defensive player out there. So we're looking at fourth and 27. Rockets have uh, McAllister and Morganson back deep to return this punt. Timeout, Union County. Again, we want to thank Whitetail Properties and Mark Williams for being our headline sponsor of this broadcast. Brought to you by the Critton Press. Homestead Realty, Farmers Bank and Trust, Riley Tool and Dial Machine, First United Bank, Deer Lakes Golf Course, Seaplant Federal Credit Union, Johnson's Furniture, Ellington Detailing, Par 4 Plastics, Al Starnes, Caldwell Banker Real Estate, YTG Insurance. Call to get a quote. All right, it's uh, still 4th and 20, or 30. No, it is 4th and 30. <laughs> it's 4th and a 3 wood, man. <laughs> it's 4th and, and a long. 4th and a mile. 4th uh, and a set this up. Ride. Rockets are up 7 to nothing. It is 227 to go in the first quarter. McAllister and Preston Morganson are back deep to return this punt. And in warm-ups, uh, this guy's got a leg. You know, the old rugby kick. Get, Get away from the ball. Get away from the ball. I know some of you guys are asking if we can zoom in, and we can't. We're doing this on a phone tonight. We actually don't have a camera set up. We're having to use a, a cell phone. 
on a tripod, so we really can't zoom in and out. And I apologize for that, but that's just the best we can do right now. All right, first and 10 for the Rockets on the 38-yard line. Last couple drives, they've came out with those two tights. Uh, a heavy set. And we don't usually run with two tights. We, we, we hardly ever do, really. And, not we're, and, and we're not doing it this series. Turley is out wide. We got um, twins to the left, twins to the right. Xander to the right. Sent Nesbitt in motion. We got a jet sweep here. Get a block on the corner. That was a great block by Xander. Come Nesbitt to gained maybe two yards on that play. You got to just plant your foot and get what get you can get. Field, yep. He did a good job of, you know, getting back to the line of scrimmage and then getting a couple after that. So. You kind of did a good job of rolling over when they saw that coming, too. Yeah, they, they, they stretched that out. And, you know, they've got, they've got some athletes out there. Yes, they do. Well, you got a team with 13 <laughs> seniors, and we got a team with how many seniors? I'll tell you in just a minute. Oh, All right, came in motion again. Hand off Xander, up the middle. Nice Xander's got some running room. Oh! Woo. Number nine dropped the hammer. Nice little pickup, but hey, Xander hopped right back up, though. Good job by Xander not giving him the satisfaction. He hopped right back That's up. That's running back on running back. That's yeah. their starting running back. So we're third in third and five. Waiting for the call from the sideline. We don't huddle. Here we're we go. Still twins to the left, twins to the right. Xander is to the left of the quarterback. Morgison going in motion. Fake the hand, give to Xander. Oh, well, he's got oh, another right at pretty the first hard hit. I think he's got it. I think he's got it. They're going to call for it. Well, it depends on where they spot it. They just step back a half. They call it a first down. First and 10 for the Rockets. Pretty good spot right there. Yes, it was. Rockets moving the football now, guys. Same formation. Xander is to the left of Kreider. Morganson going in motion. Oh, give the ball to Morganson. He dropped it. That goes actually as an incomplete pass. You know, that, that's an incomplete pass. Union County's front. Or they were They didn't call it for us there, but you know, he just he just waved. It. That's an incomplete pass. Well, it has to be an incomplete pass. That's the whole reason that plays run like that. There we go. All right. There Good we go. Right there. That's how that play is designed to prevent a fumble on that. There you go. Second and 10 for the Rockets. Xander's offset to the right. Looks like we've got a pass play going up to T uh, Turley. Just mm. outside of his reach. But he threw that one where only Turley was going to get it. That is a hard pass to catch, too. Over your shoulder like that. You agree with that, Ethan, or not? It is a tough pass, and especially when your momentum's taking you towards, or the ball's taking you towards the sideline, and you have yeah. to change your, your route and your whole uh, sense of going about it. So that was definitely a hard ball. Third props, and 10. Props to Crowder, though, for putting it somewhere only his receiver could get to it. All right. Tabor's offset to the right. Nowhere Long to go there. Time, he jumped yeah. it off to uh, Xander. He's going to lose about five, six, seven yards there on that play, bringing up fourth and long, and this is going to run us to the end of the quarter. Eight seconds to go. We're winding down as the Rockets are going to punt. But let this clock run out. And there you have it. End of the first quarter, Crittin County Rockets are up 7-0 to zero against Union County Braves. I knew how to zoom it. We could zoom it in a little more. I don't mess with it. Guys, I do apologize. Uh, it, sometimes it gets kind of hard to get the perfect camera angle on these downfield throws when I'm trying to watch it too. So I'll try to get a little better about that. But just bear with us if uh, a play gets kind of cut out of the screen there. Uh, Tanner, what do you think so far? Well, you got to like it that we're up seven to nothing. <laughs> I do like that a lot. Uh, 
You know, uh, we've thrown the ball a lot better tonight. Crowder looks a lot more settled in. Their defense is stout against the run, though. That's and, and that's what you that's you, exactly you know right. what the well your game plan for them was. You got to stop the run, right? right. And we've. Moved the ball a little bit, but really what set it up was we had a, a, a heck of a punt. They dropped it, we recovered it, and then we, we, we capitalized with a, a beautiful touchdown pass from Luke Kreider to Preston Morganson. Yep. I agree 100%. Like we talked about earlier, uh, a lot of press coverage, a lot of uh, loading up and stopping the run and daring someone to throw the ball. And uh, like you said, uh, we've uh, they had a big play that hit earlier on a throw, and we had a big play on a throw set up by a good punt. But other than that, there just has not been a whole lot of and offense this game. They hit that one big pass play over the middle, but other neither team has really effectively put a drive together. Right, right. Uh, you know, it's something to look forward to in the game. These Union County linebackers, they, they really are pinning their ears back, and they're trying to fill these holes and get back to the quarterback. So uh, we've had a, we've had some screen success. I look to see a little bit more of that tonight. Uh, you know, just just have to sit back and watch. Here comes Braxton on for the punt. Fourth and 17. If he kicks this one like he has been, this one ought to go in the end zone. <laughs> we're, we're at the 42-yard line. Send more uh, McAllister in motion. Got another high, beautiful punt. They're not going to catch it. And that's going to get a rocket bounce. Go inside the 10-yard line. Right, well, right at the 10. He is punting like unbelievably. Right it's now. awesome. I mean, we haven't. That, <laughs> you can't call that luck either. That's three, right? Yeah. Perfect spiral. You just can't drop a better punt than that, especially, you know, punting on the run like you do in that rugby formation. He's not getting time to sit his feet and really step into it. He's just no. kind of. It's, it's really He's doing impressive. it on the run, and that right. was a right. high booming 45 yard punt. Pins them back inside the 20. Ball's at the 10. Exactly right. We're set up good to go here. Let's watch this defense work. All right, let's see what Kate, Coach Courtney's got dialed up for this Rocket defense. They're going trips to the right for Union County. Uh, running back to the left. One wide out to the left. Brax is coming. Number nine up the middle. And everybody but four Rockets had a hold of him. He was dragging some people. It took all of them to bring him down on that one. Uh, Nice pickup for Union County that time. Though. Yeah, he's going to be close to the first down. Looks like second in the yard right here. Seals Porte, number nine, is is a big human being. He makes Mike look small, that's for sure. <laughs> I've never been small. Been younger, but never small. All right. Looks like they got trips to the left. One out, one wide out to the right. Seals Porte is to the right. Send the guy in motion. Hand off up the middle. And that is Braxton Winters with the tackle. That was a great job of getting low leverage on a big guy because you can't come in a you know, shoulder pad height and try to hit somebody that size or run over oh, he, you. He took yeah. his legs out. Yeah, he got low. That's just what you coach right there. That's good form tackling. It's going to make it a second and... No, oh, that got them the first down. I'm sorry. First and ten for Union County. Twins to the right. One wide out to the left. In a gun formation, split backs. Those guys are really tight. And he's hit in the backfield by Tyler Boone. Here comes Caden McAllister. And the rest of the cavalry right there to bring him down. Tanner, how did you that up all ago? Number 79, Dylan Yates. Okay. He was afraid, though, if you did it too much that yeah, you'd miss you're going to mess the resolution up. It's also going to make the cameraman have to be a lot more on the game. There you go. There you go. That's about as good. Trying to meet in the middle. Second and 11. Pass play. Brax is coming. Oh, McGowan got him. Noah McGowan with the sack. Preston Turley got there too. 
just relentless pass rush so far tonight from Crittenden County. He didn't even have enough time to really go through his progressions down the field. He uh, looked up, and here they were coming. That's going to make it uh, third and 20. Ball's on the 12-yard line. They've got to reach the 32 for a first down. Twins to the right, twins to the left. In the gun. Here comes Stunt. Good coverage on that by Darrington. And Perkins came over from the safety spot. There wasn't much of a chance there on that pass. No, that's right. They did it. The safety did a great job of uh, noticing the deep threat out there on the outside, and he worked his way over to, to cover his half of the field on that. And like Tanner said, there just wasn't much room to fit a football in over there by the time he got over there. Again, the defense caused those havoc plays. Big loss. You got a sack on that, so it's fourth and 20. Rockets are going to get the ball in good field position exactly right here. Right. Sparing something unfortunate. going to be a official timeout right now. There are eight minutes and 48 seconds to go until halftime. The Rockets are up seven to zero. Look like an, too many men on the field for Union County. It's going to back them up for five more yards. Uh, you simply cannot have that right now if you're Union County. That takes away a lot of room for your punter to work. They're down to the seven yard line. Fourth and a mile. Who we got back, guys? Preston Morganson and uh, Caden McAllister are standing at the 38 yard line for the Rockets. Good snap. End over end kick. Morganson's going to catch this. Oh, no. He was hit, fumbled. Braxton Winters was there to recover. Rockets will take over on the 39-yard line. Good heads-up play by Braxton Winters. So. Morgerson came up, caught that punt on the run, and there was a guy right there and stuck him. Good downfield coverage for Union County. They had a lot of speed, more than I anticipated that they had. There just was not a lot of running room by the time he could field at that punt. Again, we want to thank Whitetail Properties, Mark Williams, for um, sponsoring this event and this broadcast for the Crittenden Press. Rockets are going to take over first and 10 on the 39-yard line. We've got Caleb Nesbitt down here in the slot again. We've got two wide outs to the left, two to the right. Xander Tabor is offset to the left. Preston Morgan's coming in motion. It's going to be a pass. Oh, Turley does not see the ball. We, we lucked out right there. That was as thrown right to him. And number two dropped an interception. There was a mix-up there somewhere. Something. So I'm, I'm with Mike. Something looked off there. Whether it was uh, uh, Crowder thought he was running something different, or Turley thought he was running something different. It, it just did not look natural. All right, we got trips to the left, wide out to the right. Xander is to the left. This is an unbalanced formation. Thirty-nine yard match. Doing the toss sweep, he's got a lane. Xander's got some room. He's gonna be about a yard short of the first down. Nice pick up that time by uh, Xander in the offense. It's gonna be third and one. That was a nine yard gain for Xander Tabor. Line up in that same bunch left formation. Ball's given to Xander off to the right. He's, he made a cut. He's got a lane. Big run. That's good heads up running by Xander. His hey, first nothing look, was, nothing yep. was there to the right. He cut it to the left. For a good positive gain. Yeah, gain of about 12 on that play. It does look like we do have Benjamin Evans back in at center. Uh, Zachariah McGahan did get the start, but it looks like we've got Ben back in there right now. First and 10 for the Rockets on the 19. 7.53 to go. Same formation, bunch to the left. Go to the sweep to the right. Xander cuts it back. 
Gains about four or five yards on that play. You can hear the crowd yell, run it again. <laughs> After we zoomed in, is it still clear at home, I wonder? Yeah, I don't Just know. give us comments. Uh, what you guys comment does help us, uh, what the video quality looks like, what the sound sounds like. Uh, it says zoom looks great. For, uh, second and six for the Rockets. Tight end to the right, twins to the left. Give the ball to Xander on the right. He's still on his feet fighting. Yep. Just some more good hard running. He's going to get down to the 10 yard line. And these, these Crittenden County fans are liking what they see right now. Like you said earlier, they were calling for the run and uh, they look fired up and ready to go and ready for some more. So we'll see what we'll do right here. <laughs> There's nothing better as a running back to be able to walk the ball down the field like right. that. Third and two. Field. And then you know that defense is gassed right now. A lot of hands on the hips out there right well, now for that Union County defense, and they look defeated at the that's moment. That's right. Obviously, you think this is two down territory. We got two plays to get one yard. Turley's down lineman, uh, tight end on the left, twins to the left. Xander's offset to the right, giving the ball to Xander up the middle. He's got a lane. He's inside the five, down to the four yard line. First and goal for the Rockets. Minutes, 17 seconds to go in this half. Rockets still lead seven to zero. This drive's going on about three, three and a half to four minutes. First and goal for the Rockets on the three. In a pistol formation. With the double tight ends. Double tight. Offsides. I don't know that. I would imagine that's offsides on Crittenden. Gonna move them back five yards, make it first and goal from the eight. It almost looks like the center was the one that started. How is that offsides? I, I didn't see it. I, I didn't either. It looked like Ben was the one that was moving ahead. Our two tight ends, you got a. Uh, Tyler Boone on, is tight end to the left. Preston Turley to the right. Morgison the up back. Xander Turley stacked deep. Give the ball to Xander Tabor. He's got a lane. Gonna be close. It looks like he's down to the one yard line. So we got that back. Right. We got that back. There was a, there was a nice hole there. Clock's running. 5:36 to go in the second quarter. Rockets up seven to zero, but they're threatening. Same formation. I would expect the same thing. Xander Tabor. Is he in? He is in. Oh, Touchdown, Touchdown Rockets. Rockets. Woo! That feels good, doesn't it? Yes, it does. They just they lined up in two tights and ran that same play right. three plays in a row. Yeah. That was old school Crittenden County Smash Mouth football. We ran it all the way down the football field, controlled the clock, and you know did it with ease, really, Mike. Not only the when you keep the ball on the ground like that, you're keeping the ball out of their hands. Yep. Right. 521 in this second quarter. Rockets up 13 to nothing. Extra point here by Perkins will make it 14 to zero. If it's successful. Shout out to the offensive line right there. That was just great blocking. Kick is up. They got, a guy, they got a guy through, but it's good. 14 to nothing Rockets. 521 to go in the second quarter. We want to thank Mark Williams, Whitetail Properties again, our sponsor, Shara Solutions on the New York Stock Exchange, Homestead Realty. When you are buying or selling, Farmers Bank, your trusted hometown bank since 1899. All right. Ethan, what'd you think about that drive? That's what we that want to see. That's looked good. We talked about it in the pregame. Uh, you know, we're running the ball up. We had success with that at Caldwell. And uh, I know we talked at the halftime show at Caldwell about how we need to, you know, get back to that. And tonight we've really came out here and done it. Uh, uh, Tabor's looked great. He's hitting his holes. This offensive line is – He's running hard. Right. This offensive line's coming off the line, and they're blocking, and they're, they're, they're still they're, – you know, like they're just coming out here and playing good football. I, you just, you just, it just brings a, a tear to my eye almost to see Crittenden County firing all, on all cylinders again. Oh, smash mouth football at its finest right there. Right. What I was you trying to get out it. before I got too excited is, well, I will come back to it after this kickoff. 
Yeah, Rockets lined up to kick the ball. Uh, Perkins, number 85, will be doing the kicking. The deep guys for Union County, I can't read their numbers. They're standing on the 20. They take it at the 25. He's running fast, and he's not running far. A host of Rockets get him down on the 33-yard line. Looks like Preston Morgison and uh, number 49, Ben Dobbins on that tackle. Dob. Ben Dobbins has really came in here and just done a great job playing football this year. He hasn't had a lot of experience lately. Uh, I believe he had a tackle for a loss and a sack he against a big game. He had a big yep. game and, last uh, week. Also, I, I cut his hair this afternoon. He was telling <coughs> me he has guard drill in the morning. If oh, they went right? to, if they went all the way to Paintsville, he was going to have to come in at three or four and report early the next morning on Sunday. Wow! But I got to respect a young man that'll do that. Certainly. All right, Union County's going to take over on the 34-yard line. They've got trips to the left. Send a guy in motion. Give the ball up to number nine, and McGowan meets him at the line of scrimmage. Maybe for a short gain of two yards on that play. There was a little hole there, but not for long. McGowan closed down quick, and, and he laid a hit on him. Yep. <laughs> second and second and eight. We got 4.50 to go in the second quarter. Looks like we're going with three down linemen again. We haven't called Easley's name yet, number 41, the nose guard, but every center knows after they play a game against him. Tyler, Tyler Boone on a stunt right there, got tripped up at the line, but still made the tackle. He came right through that B gap, and as soon as they handed the ball off, Tyler Boone was there. Great play by Tyler. What did he get through that line? No gain on the play. Third and eight. And the B gap is between the center and or the guard and the tackle. tackle. That's right. Basically right up the middle. Right <laughs> up the middle. <laughs> and we that's where those, you expect. We know those terms. But we, that's where you expect your middle linebacker to be making plays. Right at the line of scrimmage up the middle. Third and eight, third and nine, third and nine here. We got twins to the right, twins to the left. It's a passing down right here, Tanner. Pin your ears back and go. Rockets look like they're going to bring pressure. Oh, they got him. And uh, number two for their team, Alan Elam, fell down. <laughs> it's going to make it third and 14. What do you want to bet that he had a pretty deep go route right then? He was ready oh, to jump Oh, he was excited. On. He, he looked like he was excited. Roll, yeah. You know who else was excited? I think those three linebackers that were <laughs> up at the, at the line of scrimmage because they was coming. Yep. Coach Courtney had dialed up some pressure right there. Let's see if they keep yeah. it up this play. Looks to be the same thing right here. Kind of backed off the pressure a little bit. Yeah, it looks like they may base this one up third and 14. It's a pass. Over the middle. Oh, through the hands of Tyler Boone. That's an incomplete pass. And Union County is going to be forced to punt. We got three minutes, 33 seconds to go in the half. He had a receiver there. The receiver just really didn't look like he was expecting the ball to be thrown to him, or they just a little bit off right there. But that was great coverage again. And like he said, Tyler Boone almost had an interception there. Uh, this Union County offense looks frustrated tonight. Yeah, they really do. What uh, we talked about last week, our defense played good. Right, yeah. They're playing right. good so far tonight. Pitching a shutout so far. The Rockets are going to get the ball with three minutes on the plus side of three minutes to go. Looks like Morgison is back at the Rockets. 40-yard line. He's going to field it. He's got some running room. Oh, taken down at the 45. 325 to go in the second quarter. Rockets up 14 to zero. Okay, guys, right here. Do we keep the ball on the ground like we did, or do we try to throw a pass and put another six up? Uh, uh, you have to keep the ball on the ground right here. Uh, you, you know, uh, we got three minutes and 25 seconds left. You have plenty of time. Plenty of time. And we had so much success running it. Uh, one thing I wouldn't mind seeing, though, is get them three or four decent-sized gains on the run and hit them with that play-action pass, something over the middle and quick. And you Maybe know. see some. Uh, maybe even see a screen or two here, Boy, especially if we get a couple runs going. <laughs> We've got trips to the left. Turley is uh, a down tight end to the right. Xander is to the left. First and 10 for the Rockets at the 45. Crowder takes the snap, throws a swing pass to Morganson. He's got some room. 
Woo, what a move. Holy cow. A little uh, jitterbug move there by Morganson. Gets him another 10 yards. Great little spin move on the sideline there. You don't see that a lot anymore, though. That, that's awesome. No, yeah, as a gain of about 15 yards on that play. Rockets cross midfield, same formation. Give the ball to Xander up the middle, and he's met at the line of scrimmage for was, no gain. Wasn't nowhere to go on that one. 3.06, and the clock is running. Rockets at the 42-yard oh, line. We've got a late flag coming in, guys. Clock stops at 3.01. All right, let's see what the explanation is here. Doesn't look like anybody knows right now, Looks really. Looks like unsportsmanlike against Union County. That'll be a big pickup again for Rocket. That's a 15-yard gain. That's their second unsportsmanlike of the game tonight. It's going to put the Rockets at the 28-yard line. Three minutes ago. And that just opens up the playbook right now. You can run whatever you want, not have to worry about the clock. Three minutes left. All right, they're staying with the same formation. Trips to the left. Hurley on the inline of scrimmage to the right. Xander to the left. It is a big rush. Number 30 with the catch. He's got some room. That is Case Gobin. Well, is that right? That is not Case Gobin. Uh, it's Case Gobin's that's, uniform. That's what our roster says is Case Gobin. That looks like Baker, to be honest with you. That looks like Baker. Yeah, that's Bryce and Baker, I'd imagine. <laughs> Right. Nice catch on there. You got a first down, first and 10 for the Rockets at the 16 yard line. Same formation. Hand up to the middle to Xander Tabor. He cuts it outside. Nice run. Gets inside the 10 yard line. Clock's running 235. It's going to be second and second and four for the Rockets. Looks like they're at about the 10 yard line. Staying with that same formation, rolling with it. Give to Xander up the middle. Whistles everywhere. False start against the Rockets. Just gonna back them up a little bit, make it about second and 10 right here. It's gonna take them to the 15 yard line. Again, the clock is at 216. The Rockets are up 14 to zero and inside the red zone. Is that, yeah, second and 10, second and 10. Looking for the play, sticking with that same formation, trips to the left, tight end to the right. Oh, Turley's out wide, he's got a mismatch there. Xander up the middle, he's gonna get to about the, looks like he's gonna get about everything we just lost. Good hard nose running again. He's really running north and south and lowering his pad level and you know just punishing these linebackers trying to tackle him tonight. Very impressed. All right, it's going to be third down in about five, maybe third and four. Clock's running a minute 36 to go. Crowder takes a snap. It is a pass. Dumps it off to Xander. Oh, he's tripped up. Short gain. That was a good tackling on Union County's part right there. Clock's creeping up to the one minute mark. It's gonna make it fourth down in about three. They are just inside the 10 yard line on the nine it looks like. Same formation, Crowder. We got a neutral zone infraction coming up right here. What? Looks like a neutral zone infraction. That's going, to be on, down, that's going to be on Union County. It's going to give the Rockets a first down. The, the clock has stopped at 59 right. seconds. As soon as they set the ball, the clock will start, right? It should. And we would. We've got a timeout. We've got two, I believe. We need to be thinking about that. Well, we're inside the five now. Clock's running. Two tights. Eye formation. The pistol formation. Xander is met at the line of scrim at the five yard line. I think we'll have to take a timeout right here. And <coughs> yeah, here it comes. Here comes yeah, a timeout. 41.7 to go. Rockets up 14 to zero. 
Crennan's going to take their time right here and get the right personnel in and draw up their, you know, one of the one of their favorite plays down here in the goal line. Well, you got 41 seconds. You've got one timeout left, and you've only got three plays. And it's time. Coach is going to line these guys up real tight and turn them loose right here. I agree. I think we'll. Uh, well, you could still, with one timeout, you could still. Run or pass here. Right, I mean, right. running the ball still on the table. Right. I think you could call two plays in this huddle right here if they're both runs, and, and, and still get them off, and then still call a timeout yeah. and run your fourth as soon as down the play. Ball gets set, what? Be right there, ready to roll again. That's exactly what they're doing right here. They've got the play that they're going to run on this here on this snap, and then he's also giving them the second play that they're going to run right after this. So, I wouldn't be surprised if they go back to that trips to the left, press the turn to the right. There was some success at the beginning of this drive. Yeah. Uh, on Looks the, like, though, Tyler Boone's still in, so he's been the second tight end on the two-tight formation. we got Morganson split on this side. Morganson wide to the left. And it's a pass. Throws it up to Tyler Boone. Ooh, pass interference. It looks like it's going to be called. That was a good thrown ball. It was, and that was a good job by Tyler to go up. And uh, as soon as that DB hit him, yeah, he did a good job selling that and getting us the call right there, which it was a good call. Should have us the ball really close right down here. It's going to be uh, half, the, half distance. the distance. Stops the clock with it being a pass. 36.4 on the clock. It's going to be first and goal for the Rockets on the two. All right, twins, too tight set. Xander's the deep back. Sending Morgison in motion. Ball's given to Xander, and he is going to walk in. Nice run by Xander Tabor. Touchdown, Rockets. 32 seconds left in the second quarter. That's just how you drive it up. That's Draw exactly, it up, ain't it? That's exactly right. Oh, I'll, I'll touch on that play here in a little bit after we kick this extra point. Perkins is is back to uh, make the kick, make this a 21 to nothing Rockets lead. They better shore up that inside because the guy broke free last play. And they did. And it's good, 21 nothing Rockets. Okay, here's the big deal. We're all pumped up. We just scored. We're getting ready to kick off. We got to keep our head in the game. You don't want to let down and let them run a touchdown off. No, you. you don't. That happens a lot. Yeah. Not with just us, but every team that plays. Touch it on that jet play. Tanner talked about us having success on it earlier. He basically, Tony Romo, predicted that play. Uh, what that does, it's a great play because as a defense, you have to respect that jet and shift your defense alongside of it, with it especially with an athlete like Preston Morgison. So when we run that jet across the field, it gets all the defensive shift to the other side of the field, and we come back and run the opposite direction handoff there, and Xander just had all kinds of room on that. All right, 32 seconds to go in this one. In the first half, 21 to nothing Rockets. Defense pitching a shutout. <coughs> and, and the last two drives have been good drives by the offense. They really have. I mean, they seem like they settled down. They're not shook up it's like they looked a little last week. Things are looking up. Perkins is going to kick the ball. Nice kick. Number seven takes it at the 35 or 25. Got some room. Preston Morganson has him. He's still on his feet. Crosses midfield. They had a rugby scrum there. Wow. Gets tackled down at the 45-yard line. He crossed midfield. 21 seconds left to go in this game. There's that big play Michael's half, just I'm talking sorry. about. Yeah, that, that makes me so nervous. <coughs> well, you'd almost guarantee you to see the pass play right here unless they're just going to take a knee or run the clock out right here and get back to the halftime. Well, with his arm, I would think you right. would take a uh, – I might try a couple quick hits to get it where you got a shot at the end zone. 21 nothing at half, you have to take a shot here. I, I, you have to try and score right here. We got trips to the right. Uh, Seals Porte is to the left of the quarterback. One wide out to the left. Tyler Boone coming on a stunt. Pass over the middle, caught by. Caden McAllister with a 
Great tackle. Uh, we've got a. And they're going to give him an unsportsmanlike yeah. penalty, I bet. For jumping up after the. Play. For being excited. For being excited. I, I don't like I that. I should have got one too then. Yeah. Yeah. I silly, silly rule. Yeah, I do too. I think that he was just excited and uh, trying to get his team fired up after that, and that is just not. Well, I'm I'm guilty of it too. I jumped right. up too. So, uh, and whether or not we agree with it or not, <laughs> it's going to hurt us right here because if it's, it's sports is like that's 15 yards. Yeah, it's going to take them down to the, about the 28 yard yeah. line. And now they've got a real good shot at the end zone right here. 14 seconds to go. Now we don't know what was said as he was eating. No, that that is also a, a, plays a factor. In, Looks like Union County's going to call a timeout. Yep. Courtney's going to go out here and uh, – Ball's at the 27. He's going to come out here and cross all the T's and dot all the I's in this prevention package. So, uh, just make sure you don't let your man get behind you. Watch out for the lateral, the hook and ladder, just your basics. 14 seconds to go. It's going to be first and 10 at the 26-yard line. I guarantee you that's a lot of difference if you're going in 12 or 21 7, 21 0 at half. Right. For you know, sure. They've had that. zero momentum offensively. And if they can get some points right here, and I'll be real honest with you, I don't know they'll do it, but their kicker can kick it from, he was making them from the 25 yard line. Earlier? I was yeah. watching him do that. Yeah, yeah. He, he's got a leg. Union County can and should get two plays out of this. They've got one timeout right. left. Do they? Yeah, the scoreboard yep. says they do. Well, the scoreboard says they do. It's never wrong. Right. Trips to the right, one to the left. It is a pass, and that's an incomplete pass. 11 seconds to go. Rocket pass rush, which is back there in his face right again. Dylan Yates, Noah McGowan. Late the easily right after the middle. He's been giving their center all he wants oh, to. Oh, yeah. I guarantee you he is. Probably at the guard, too. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody in his general area. All right, second and 10, 11 seconds to go. Ball on the 26 yard line. You look to think that they, they can take two shots here. Trips to the right, one to the left. Rockets just bringing four he's overthrown incomplete pass 5.4 seconds left uh, he was, he's wanting to call down there but that was that ball was just too far out of his catch radius yeah, to get that call no catch ball. right uh, looks like the Rockets they've come out here to nickel package that just means they've added another defensive back and took a linebacker a defensive end out it means they're uh, gearing up to pr protect the pass right here and as they should all right, this is probably going to be the last play of the half. Five seconds to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. Twins to the right, twins to the left. He's got pressure. Dylan Yeh, fumbled the ball. Lathan has got it. That is the half. Dylan, Dylan Yates applied the pressure. Caused the fumble, Lathan easily scooped it up. Y'all don't and that's the trash can slam on the sideline. Y'all don't think Coach Corton is excited, do you? <laughs> Rocket Nation here, all 200 of them are excited over here. All right. All right, guys, we're going to take a little break. We're going to leave this on. Uh, we're going to kind of get our heads together and think about what's going on. Chris is going to bring you some stats. We'll be back to talk to you here in just a few minutes.
halftime score here. Kearney County Rockets lead 21 to zero. Got Chris Evans coming up here with us. He's got some halftime stats. Might wanna, might wanna take a look at these uh, Union County cheer, uh, dance squad. I figured they wanted to see the scoreboard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's take another look at that scoreboard. Looks a lot better this week. We've turned it around, haven't we? That's right, 21-0. 21 to zero, Rockets. Hey, lot, a lot of, a lot of high stepping going on over here on the Rockets sideline. Oh, oh yes, you can hear uh, Rocket Nation yelling out, "Run it again!" <laughs> That's what you like to hear. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so, what the stats look well, like? Well, Xander Tabor's been running the ball hard as we uh, would always expect. He's got 17 carries for 71 yards, and. Uh, some of them are tough yards. He's been outside, a little juke moves here and there. You know, uh, he's got good vision tonight. He's, he does, and he's not hurt. You know, last week he played most of that game, uh, banged up a little bit, and a lot, lot fresher he looked looks this week than he did last week. So uh, he's carried the ball <clears throat> every time but one. Luke Kreider has carried it one time for the Rockets, so that's 18 rushing plays for Crittenden County. Uh, I think we had 25 all of last week. So Luke Kreider had one carry for four yards uh, on a keeper. Luke Kreider's passing tonight. Of course, he threw that one interception uh, right out of the chute. And, you know, uh, he came over and Sean kept pumping him up, saying, no, 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 don't don't you, you know, get your head up. Then he throws a, a pass over there to Preston Morgison. I mean, that was an ESPN touchdown. highlight. <laughs> yeah, Preston went up and got it, too, yeah. for the first touchdown of the game. It was a good back shoulder throw, nice. and he threw it with confidence. That's, nice what, that's what we commented in the broadcast. He just had a play that didn't go his way, yeah. stepped up, and, I mean, what just like he – What about the move that Preston made, or uh, yeah, Morgison made on <laughs> The that. spin move down here? Oh, yeah. He's got, that was sweet. He's got a lot of moves. He's a jitterbug. He is. Uh, Preston Morganson right now has uh, 43 yards receiving on three catches. Uh, Bryson Baker, 12 yards on one catch. He is number 30. He's number 30 tonight. That's we right. figured that out. Yeah, he's uh, the jersey he's got, they needed some replacements for. That's why he has a couple of different jerseys. Uh, Xander Tabor, he's kind of been the outlet guy, so he's had a couple of catches, but uh, they've gone for uh, – Minus six yards, one uh, he was thrown for a seven yard loss. It's kind of a place to dump. Yeah, he was just, he's an outlet guy and, and uh, didn't have anywhere to go on that one pass. But uh, Caleb Nesbitt has had one, <coughs> excuse me, one reception for one yard. That's that shovel pass. And if you remember in, right after that, uh, it looked like we had a fumble. And <coughs> that's that shovel pass. So anytime they toss that ball forward, that's a pass. Right, right. well, yeah, we, mm -hmm. ca we called that here. I said that should be an we incomplete. Need to go back and explain yeah. why that was a pass. Mm -hmm. Because, like you just said, Chris, the ball moves forward. Instead of hook. handing that off on that jet sweep, we call it a jet sweep when that guy's coming in motion. If you, pitch you. It, if you pitch it to him, well, then it's an incomplete pass. And, it's, and it's a forward because pass. it's going forward. It's a forward pass. If it was behind him, it would just that's be right. a It's a not a toss. It's a forward shovel pass is what you know, typically uh, is known for. So uh, Luke Kreider's completed uh, seven of his 12 passes here in the first half. Well, that's a good percentage. 56 yards through the air. Uh, Union County has, uh, you know, they came out and threw it a little bit, and uh, their quarterback has 49 yards uh, passing, on, and he's completed four passes and has thrown nine. So he's four for nine, no interceptions. Luke Kreider, 7-12 with one interception. Uh, the Portees, let me make sure I got Corinth, Corinthian Sales, sales, sales Portees. <laughs> That's a tough one for me. We call him number nine. Number nine. <laughs> he, of course, he's had uh, he's had most of the most of the carries. He's carried the ball eight times, but uh, has about 12 yards rushing here in the first half. And uh, Chris Hughes, uh, he's kind of their little their scat back guy. He's uh, he's a pretty quick kid. Uh, he's caught one pass for four yards, and uh, he's rushed three times for 17 yards. So a pretty good first half for Crittenden County. They had eight first downs, and Union County only had two. A lot of penalties on the Union County side, and Crittenden County, I know they uh, they worked on that, this on not making so many penalties. You know what that means when they work on that. Oh, I've been in those <laughs> practices where you work on your penalties. <laughs> yeah. 
So I think uh, I think there was some discipline work in practice this week, and it's paying off. We had a taunting call right over there. Uh, I think it was on Caden McAllister. A little bit questionable. He walked. He was walking away. He was when just he excited. He, he made, I was jumping in. <laughs> I was excited as he was. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things. It's hard to hard to swallow that one. But a couple other little penalties, uh, a holding call and a uh, and uh, an illegal procedure. So three penalties for Crittenden for 30 yards. For Union County, I'm going to need a calculator here. That's 30, 40, 50, 65, 67 and a half yards in penalties already here in the first half on nine penalties so uh, uh we uh that was fli- flipped last it week. yeah we flipped it on them this week and and you know this is their first game we gotta remember that too first game of the season for union county they're gonna they're gonna have to shake the webs off just a little bit and uh, we we look like we played a game yeah yeah, yeah. uh not not too bad a lot, we've a lot more settled tonight on the offense especially at, absolutely. much 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 calmer and that's what you hope <laughs> to see uh, every game, you know, a little bit more confidence for that quarterback. When you've got that many seniors on the field and, and you know, your quarterback's a junior, that, that that's all, that's what should happen. You know, you should be out there and having the jitters and go and, and uh, you know, we settled down tonight. I mean, that's all you can say. We settled down. We're, we're running the ball hard. We're staying behind our pads. Um, we're just doing a better job offensively. Defense, another good night so far. That's right. That's right. Two turnovers. Uh, we've been the beneficiary of two turnovers. We've turned it over once on an interception. They've had two fumbles that uh, we've come up with. So, and Braxton is pun- he's only he's punted twice, and they have been phenomenal. Braxton is an incredible punter, and, and you know he's he's doing this on that rugby punt. He's on the move. I know. But, but uh, wow, well, I mean, Braxton's a great athlete. You know. Yeah. Uh, you know, he, he's not the guy that, that gets a lot of the, the ink, and part of that's probably my fault. You know, I'm the ink guy. <laughs> but uh, but Brax is one of those. Not every, a flashy player, he's but not. he's a gutsy player, he and he's going to do the little sure. things. And brings his lunch pail every time, that's offensively right. and defensively. When he gets in there on the offense, you know, they'll run him in the monster, and, and he's just he's a barrel when he comes through there. He's a low, big old, he's got some big old bottom half, you know. Thighs and, and he's a, he's a strong runner and, and a great linebacker and an incredible punter. Well, Chris, we uh, we had some people asking if we could zoom in. We did it. We zoomed it in just a little bit and had nothing but com- uh, uh, good things to say. They said it looks great on the TV. So all right, well, this sounds is good our, and looks good is with the feedback is, we're getting so good. far. The maiden maiden voyage on uh, broadcasting live and want to really give a shout out to Marion Baptist Church and. Uh, and Adam Perkins, uh, who runs their uh, Sunday service over there, he's one of their crew, and uh, they loaned us some equipment tonight because we were trying to do dual, uh, dual uh, broadcast from down on the sideline early, and loaned us a, a tripod and a nice microphone here, and I think everything's working well. We appreciate Marion Baptist Church uh, for for really supporting what we're doing here tonight. Uh, want to also. Uh, Take this opportunity to mention our sponsors, uh, Whitetail Properties. Mark Williams' agent is our uh, corporate sponsor for the season, and of course, he sponsors uh, the coaches show on Thursday, every Thursday night coaches show, and uh, as well as these other partners who are just as uh, just as key to what we're trying to do. Takes a lot of equipment, a uh, lot a lot of a uh, lot of uh, support for these rockets and for trying to bring you these broadcasts. And we will continue doing it as long as we have a signal. You know, that's the any team's just as good as their weakest link. That's and right. Sometimes uh, in rural West Kentucky, you don't have a great feed, but right here at Morgan Field, uh, great signal here. Uh, we have what eight megabytes up on the way over here. If anybody knows what that means, and uh, we're using a uh, a new portable web system that was uh, looks like something out of Star Wars. Yeah, it does. Hey, and that came from Will Perkins. Will's working for an internet provider now, and. And Will uh, hooked us up with that, and it's working really good. We're proud of that. Of course, hey, Will is Perkins is an that, old kicker. The people out in the in the country, is this, is yes. this a new thing? Yeah. That that we're like, if you can't get yes. a good internet, this is it, is it super expensive? Uh, it, it it's a lot more expensive, or a little more expensive than the maybe uh, uh, the internet you would get on a satellite. The like uh, Usenet or something. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's a better yeah for HughesNet or something like that. It's uh, you know that's about sixty dollars a month. This is a little bit more than that, 
Uh, but it's uh, man, it's, I tell you, it's, it's a big difference. We we tried it out at my house, and the kids love it. You know, they can play all their games. And our other one, we had a lot of trouble. So uh, if you're interested, holler at uh, Will Perkins, the former kicker for the Rockets. Uh, and his brother is the current kicker. Yeah, He's that's doing right. Doing a good job yeah. tonight too. And last week too. Yeah. Uh, get back and mention our uh, other partners here, Shara Solutions on New York Stock Exchange, Homestead Realty. When you are buying or selling, of course, Homestead Realty. Uh, uh, Darren Tabor and his son is Alexander Tabor, our running back. Farmers Bank, your trusted hometown bank since 1899. Riley Tool and Machine, grinding away for every Friday football game. First United Bank, are you ready to switch banks? If so, give us a call. Deer Lakes Golf Course, check out uh, Rick Hughes, the pro down there, and uh, they are home of the Rockets golf team. Seaplant Federal Credit Union, now on Main Street in Marion. Johnson's Furniture, your top choice for sales and service. Ellington Detailing, where they keep the rockets sharp. And of course, Ellington's, uh, Romo Ellington at Ellington Detailing. His son is a two-way player for the Rockets, Ian Ellington. Appreciate their support. Par 4 Plastics, our team is rocket proud. Al Starnes, we all know Al Starnes. He's with Colwell Banker now, real estate agent. YTG Insurance, call for a quote today. I'm sure you can beat any quote in town, can't you, Tanner? We try. <laughs> yeah. uh, Mike and Stoner's Barbershop, where a haircut is certainly an experience, isn't it, Mike? It always it is. always is. Hey, you can go talk football up there. Hey, Friday mornings <laughs> are electric. <laughs> yeah. Used to be Saturday mornings, and now you, you, don't, you don't work on Saturday. Work on Saturday <laughs> Bless your heart. Friday Good. morning, we used to have a... A group in there, and we're discussing last week and this week's game. Yeah, yeah. All six feet apart. All six feet apart <laughs> in mass. H&H &H Home and Hardware, your one-stop shop for everything in Marion, Kentucky. Marion Eye Care Center, Dr. Adria Porter, optometrist. Magnolia Bank, Derek Myers, mortgage specialist. And we know, know Derek is the uh, the boom man. He's the guy that shoots the rocket over at uh, Crittenden County at home games. Frazier and Massey Law Office in Marion. And, hey, I want to mention this, too. Please, go if you're watching this, go down to the subscribe button. The more subscriptions we get, the better we can provide this service. Because, and it's free. It, this just helps us you, get away from using a third-party vendor to go through YouTube to do this live. And, and anytime you go through a, a layer, you lose a little bit. So we can, our broadcast will be better. If you'll go down, just click surpri, uh, sub, subscribe, <laughs> so click subscribe, and it costs you nothing. And if you want to, hit that little bell, and then that'll tell you anytime we go live, it'll pop up, give you a little notice, say, hey, Crittenden Press is live. And we do uh, news on here as well as a lot of other uh, variety type things. Guys, I'm going to turn it back over to you and get back down the sideline uh, looking for another uh, great uh, half of football here. All right. Thanks, Chris. All right, there's Rockets are back out. Union County's coming down the hill now. Um, I just got a text from Andy Hunt. He is the Rocket football historian, and he said 21 to zero is the is tied for the second largest halftime lead ever by Crittenden County over Union County, and the largest was in 2007, which was 29 to six. And I'll be real honest with you, I'm pretty sure looking at that before the game in 2007 was the last time we won at this field. So it's been a while. It has. You're right. It's pretty sweet to be ahead right now. We just can't let our guard down. Oh, uh, no. And and they look fired up. We're going to have about two, three more minutes for them to warm up. And then I think, right? I believe so. Because Union County still hasn't even made it to the field yet. Ethan, you got anything to say about the first half? Uh, I think we've done a great job of clearly coming in. We had a game plan. Thompson uh, worked hard all week establishing a game plan with this team. and uh, It was to keep the ball on the ground, but also pull up for a couple of uh, pass attempts. And Crider's really uh, done a good job of, uh, you know, uh, we had that pick early on, but after that he's really settled in. He's made a couple good throws here tonight. Uh, we've worked on getting Morgus in the ball, which is I think is a great idea. He's a uh, very athletic playmaking uh, slot receiver. But he can do everything. He can catch balls. He can he can uh, run that jet sweep. He can get them out of the backfield on handoffs. He's just an all-around ball player. He can he can take one to the house any any time he touches the ball. That's exactly. He's right. that kind of explosive, dangerous 
player. And then I just have to tip my hat to uh, Coach Gordon. He's just done an immaculate job preparing this defense. Uh, they look great. They're flying around. They're making plays. And there just has not been a whole lot of room for this Union County team to operate. It's getting cooler. I, I am glad that I got brought a jacket. <coughs> it is. It, I just looked. It's 61 degrees here. Uh, nice breeze up here. And there is a breeze on the field. I'm looking down. I see Coach Starnes is down there. My coach, former uh, hey. coach of the Rockets. He's down there by Coach Thompson right now. And, uh, you know, his advertisement says always a rocket. And uh, he don't miss a game, does he? I don't think so. <laughs> and as a player, it, it's a comforting feeling to look over on the sideline and seeing Coach Starnes there. Uh, it's just, he's just a great man. He's got a great legacy left behind. Uh, we loved him to death. We got to uh, our junior year, he was still active head coach, and we got to spend a lot of time with him. And then senior year, like you said, he, he never missed a game. And, you uh, know, it says a lot. Right. Like, everybody was talking about your guys' senior year as the year. For him to step down and hand it over to Sean that year, because – you know he was going to – everybody assumed we were going to have a 10-win season. So that just tells you kind of what kind of guy he is. Everybody right. that I know that ever played for him loves him. Right. And uh, he's a rocket. He's the kind of man that if you play for him 20 years ago or two years ago, he's going to have your back no matter what. That's right. And uh, we love having him here. So Union County is going to get this ball to start the second half. we got 50 seconds to go. So we always talk about – in any sport, first couple minutes of the second half, that sets the tone for the second half. Right. It's going to be important for this defense to come out and set the tone. That's right, and that's exactly what I look for this defense to come out here and do. Uh, we've had great success. Uh, I, I just really I just, I, I just, want to tip my hat to this pass rush, to, to the whole defensive unit. Uh, we're getting back there. We're not giving this quarterback a lot of time to throw the ball. When they do run the ball, uh, they've got a really good running back, folks, and uh, he's, not, we're not, he's not getting that shown tonight. Because of how well we're doing, but he is a you very. You can just good, tell when he gets a hold of the ball. Right, he's a very athletic. Right, he man. is a very good athlete, and he gives a lot of teams a lot of problems. But we've really, as a linebacking core with Tyler Braxton and Caden, they're all flying well, around tonight. I mean, just to give you kind of an idea of what he is, when he was a sophomore, your senior year, right. when we won 32 to seven, he rushed for over 100 yards against right. us. Yep. Right. As a sophomore, so last year he broke his leg. I don't think we played it against us, but uh, he's back in full force and and. Not having a lot Here of success go. tonight. Here Perkins with the kick. They're going to field that at the 35. And, ooh, there was a shot. Oh, uh, looked like a late hit right there. No flag coming in. Kicker Will, uh, not Will Perkins, but uh, number 85 Perkins in on that tackle. Noah Perkins. Noah Perkins. All right, good field position for Union County. They're going to take over at the 45-yard line. Looks like we're still going with that three-down line package, a three-four. We got our four linebackers, the Carlson dropping down to the blocks right here. Um, Monday, number eight, Morgison, Perkins, and then Logan Bailey over there is going to wrap up your secondary. Looks like they've got two wide to the left. Quarterback under center. Going to give the ball. It's a rollout. Dumped it off. He's got some running room. He's still on his feet. Big gain for Union County. And that's that's that little boot that we were talking about. Uh, he uh, play action bootleg. He rolled out, and uh, there was a man wide open in the flats. And uh, we just weren't. We thought we were guessing run all the way right there. Is what it looked ben like. Ben Shreve with a big gain down to the 20 yard line, 23 yard line. Gonna be first and ten for Union County. Up on the line. I mean, we expected a run 100. Right. right. We had it. Yep. Curious to see what Union County is going to go with right here. I, I would imagine a run's coming right here on first down. I formation. Twins to the right. False start on there. He was uh, he was jacked up to get a hold of Dylan Yates. He just jumped the gun. It's going to put him back first and 15 at the 28. Seems like every time Union County does something, they kind of two steps forward or one step forward and two steps Tyler back. Tyler Boone's wanting this rocket crowd to get loud. And they are. They are that. Listen, and you wouldn't know it's a limited crowd tonight. Just, no. just And the cheerleaders are doing a great job. It's, I, I don't know. 
It, it's a good atmosphere in here for a limited crowd. Sure. It is on this side. For sure. <laughs> I formation, twins to the right. It's going up the middle. Woo-wee. Tyler Boone in on that tackle along with, I think that was Noah. Yeah, Noah, one of the down linemen Noah McGowan. There. I think it was Noah McGowan. Hit him first, and Tyler finished him off. Got him about four yards right there. Yeah, he, fourth or it is second and eleven. Got to watch the play action right here on defense. All right, second and eleven. I formation to the right. It's a boot. Oh. Yes. Carlson was right there on the – was able to – wasn't able – he almost picked it off. Yeah, yeah. He like, went for the pick and then didn't make the tackle. Like I said, we got to watch it there. If we did watch it there, everybody was in position and Carlson was there. He just made a good that catch. That was a reverse of the first play of the half. Right. If you just join us, it's 10-15 to go in the third quarter. Rockets lead this 21-0. to zero. <laughs> Yep, Rockets are up 21 to nothing. And Union County is on a drive right here. They are inside the red zone, which for you though that don't know, that's inside the 20 yard line. They're just inside the 20 yard line at the 19. They're in a gun here. Twins to the left, split backs, it's a pass. Going to the short side of the field, working a hitch. <laughs> Looks like they're gonna give him the first down right there. Yep, he's yep. got the first down, it was third and five. So one thing I've noticed they've tried to do is start this drive. They're working these short, quick routes, yeah. uh, hitches, the short five yard. You know, typically a route will break at five yards, and that's where they're trying to capitalize on. It's going to be first and ten for Union County at the 14. It's like I formation twins to the left. It's a rollout boot. There was a, a missed tackle, and that's a touchdown. Touchdown right there. Cool. Union County gets on the board. Right. That's, Quickly. Really, that's really the first time all year that we've, that we've been in the red zone like that defensively. Uh, I know then, there was a time or two at Caldwell, uh, maybe just one time, but I also think that that touchdown pass hit from the 30-yard line or so, so I really don't think we've been backed up like that. Well, we had a – there was – yeah, they, they forced the two field goals. They were yeah. knocking on the door of yeah. it. Yeah. Here comes the extra point. Make this a 21 to seven ball game. And, and it looks like uh, it's good. No, no good. No no good. good. He pushed it left. 21 to six, 10 2 to go in the third quarter. Uh, that, that's gonna be huge down the line, that missed extra point. Uh, what Critton has gotta do is be real careful here. We cannot have a big turnover and change the momentum. Uh, we've gotta march down the field and establish our offense like we've been doing and uh, smack them right in the mouth. And, uh, keep the momentum on our side for right now. Oh, certainly, certainly. This game is far. They 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 drove that ball 55 yards in two minutes. Yeah, I would imagine we're going to stick to what we were doing there in the late second second quarter about a. Well, Xander keep, had right. 17 carries in the first half. I would anticipate a yeah, about, heavy dose of yeah, Xander here exactly in the second. Right. That's, I look to see the ball on the ground, and it looks like. Yeah. Looks like we still got Caden and Morgison back deep. Or uh, Alexander and Morgison back deep. Yep. Caden and Braxton, the up backs. Also got to watch, always got to watch the onside kick here. The ball has to go 10 yards before. Uh, the... That'd be a very gutsy thing to do. Right. It always is. It is, you're right. <laughs> but I mean, especially if you got to have the ball. Here comes the kick. It's deep. Morganson's gonna field this about the 15. They run across, he keeps it. He's got some room. He's got some room across the 50. Down to about the 45 yard line. Big return for Preston Morganson. They did that little cross right there and he kept it. And it's kind of been a staple for Rocket, we've done we did that when I was in high school, and half the guys go. Yeah, half the guys go. And what it does is it, it pauses those defenders and it gets it, them out of place, even for if it's just that one second. You know, football is a game of uh, 
game of inches and seconds, and that could really uh, – We've got that bunch trip, uh, trip formations to the left. Xander Tabor to the left. Ball's on the 40-yard line. Going with the toss to the left. He's hit, driven back. Dylan Yates made a. Uh, they're going to get a, a bad, bad personal foul call. Uh, that was a on Ian Ellington right here. They're going to say that he hit him late, but for me, it looked like that defender ran into him and then flopped down. So I really do not like this call coming up right here. I wish we had instant replay. I really didn't see any contact at all right there. I just. So uh, just on the play, it looks like it, it was a loss of about seven. And they're going to tack on 15 more on the end of this one. And maybe it might, it might get waved off here. I'd sure like for it to be because I really just did not see what, what, anything there. Personal foul against the Rockets. That's going to make it. That's going to be a dead ball. So it's going to be second and, a mile. and 32. Puts the Rockets all the way back down to the 38-yard line. Where you just got to shake it off and go back up and do your thing. Hey, stick with your game plan. Make some plays. Twins to the right, twins to the left. They're going to the – oh, Morganson fell down. We've got to be careful with the ball right here, guys. Yeah, they do. They really, really do. Did a little screen pass there to the right, and Morganson slipped and fell. I'd, I'd look to keep the ball on the ground right here, give it to Xander, let him get what he can get. and. Uh, End up just – Right, right. I, I really – I just really don't – don't want to see a deep shot here. All right, twins to the right, twins to the left. Xander's offset to the left in the gun. Kreider receives the snap. He's driving back. Screen to Nesbitt. He's got some blocking. Looks like a face mask, and it's called. He got back to the midfield. <clears throat> There's another flag. Well, that's going to put us right in the thick of things now. So you got a face mask on the run and then there's a personal foul and I don't know who that's going to be. It's kind of getting a little chippy down there. It is. It is. <laughs> there's two flags on the play, sir. I believe they're both on Union County, too. Well, I know this one right, is a, a face mask, mask and then I, I think that uh, there was a personal foul that's going to be called there on the end. I know Dylan Yates was in he was excited about whatever that player did to him uh -huh. and had his hands up like come on throw the flag and then they threw the flag so i don't yeah, it could go either way right here union county's marching that way let's see if it's an automatic first down that personal oh, oh he said he called both he called double personal fouls which offset so basically we just get the five-yard yeah. face mask, which is, should make this third down and 15. Right. Rockets cross midfield, got the ball on the 45-yard line. I'm curious to see what the play call is right here. This is a – Well, you expect a pass. A pass, right. Uh, I, I just – we haven't seen very many I'm, passing concepts. Uh, you know, we've seen a lot of screens, so I could see a screen going here, but – we just got to ask if we were going to do this every game. And as far as we know right now, yes, we will be videoing every game and, and broadcasting. That is the plan. If we can keep Mark Williams with Whitetail Properties sponsoring this broadcast, we certainly appreciate him. Yeah, we really do. We've got a Braxton fan from, from across the river at Harrisburg. That's right. His uncle's fan. Well, you know, this is a game, Rocket fans, this is the first game, really, that the Rocket Nation can watch all across the country. Yep. You're right. We are on YouTube, baby. Yeah. 
Not sure what's going on. We've got a delay in the action. I'll give you time on the clock, 9.23. We're in the third quarter. Rockets are up 21 to six. And we're sending our <coughs> rugby punt unit out there, it looks like. Down? I was, yes, I, like we've got fourth down. Yep, that's the call <coughs> right here. That was I, a confusion. Yeah, I don't understand how that really happened. Line judge or, down here still says it's third down. And we've got more whistles, and it looks like we're going to have another stop and play. Okay. Here comes the punt, fourth and 15. Rockets on the 45 yard line. Winners rose right. Another great kick. Woo! Tyler Boone with the tackle right on the spot. There's zero return on that kick. He caught it at the 13. He was tackled at the 13. Outstanding sorry, play. Sorry, make that the 16. Tyler Boone was a man on a mission that play. All right, first to 10 for Union County. Score is? 21-6. 9-16 to go in the third. Here comes Union County. Had success on their last drive. Let's see if the Rockets can shut them down again. I like to see Union County go for more of that play action, counter boot type stuff. So, so they're in the I formation, twins to the left. We got a hand up to Seal Portis off the left side. They could have watched it last week, but they wasn't from the Crittenden County standpoint. Right? Right. Right. We had a, we had I a, couldn't tell who made that tackle. Does it matter? I didn't know. It was, a, it was jumbled up. I guess it was Turley. Yeah. He's he's the defensive end on that side now. Uh, Union County trying to run that misdirection, and it just wasn't there. It's like they're in the gun this time, split backs, twins to the left. One thing I've noticed about their split backs is they're almost shoulder to shoulder with the quarterback. Watch the pass right here. Oh. oh uh, we got another false start from Union yeah, County. It looks like it's on that left guard right there. Looked like we had Monday on a stunt. Number eight, he was going too. Court, Coach Courtney's dialing it up. Right, right. And now as a defense, we've got to be geared up for the pass right here. I could. It's going to be uh, second and tw uh, 17. And they are backed up. They did not have a lot of room to operate right here. So are, the ball's on the 10 yard line. A, a bad snap or a bot, a bot snap or anything like that could be uh, tremendous for Crittenden County right now. Huge opportunity for the defense to pin them back right. here. Twins to the left, one to the right. They're in the gun, split backs. Here's a snap, it's a pass, quick pass to the right. He's caught. <clears throat> I'd say forward progress is going to mark him about two Logan yards. Logan Bailey hit him as soon as he caught the ball. Good play over there. All right, you've got third and long. Looks like they're going to give him about a gain of four on that play. Maybe five. Third and 11. Rocket Nation's getting loud. All right, shotgun set. A little confusion from Union County. All right, they're going twins to the or trips to the left. Single back uh, receiver to the right. It's a pass. He's looking for number 23 over the middle. Morganson bats it away. Great play on the ball. It's going to bring up fourth down. 7:24 to go in the third quarter. Rockets going to. Have an opportunity to get the ball again with good field position. At, at least I would imagine right about midfield, maybe a little bit closer as Union sends out their punt team. We've got Morgison back deep again. He's done a great job returning. Um, Cade McAllister's yeah, coming back, back with him. Up. They're standing on the 43-yard line of Union County. So a great opportunity right here to set up Crittenden County offense with good field position. It's good snap. End over end kick. Look out. It scares 
especially in death when our guys run up around that. A bad Nothing bounce. good can happen. Rockets take over on Union County's side of the 50. Ball's going to be at the 48 yard line. They got the lead 21 to 6. Let's see if we can get back in the end zone right here. That'd be a, be a pretty good dagger to them right now. It's going to be important to not have negative plays right. and we, or we, penalties. We still got. We still cannot turn the ball over here. Where they Union County's just a bloop and a blast away from getting back in this ball game. So we've got to, we've got to hang on to the football. A lot of time Great opportunity game. here for the Rockets <laughs> to do something. Uh, twins to the left, bunch split backs. First time I think we've seen split backs by the Rockets tonight. We're gonna give the ball to Nesbitt. He's got some room. He's got a crease. He's got a first down. Nice run by Nesbitt. Crossed the 35-yard line. First and 10 for the Rockets. That showed flashes of another Nesbitt I used to know that ran football uh, pretty well. Mr. Six. That's him. <laughs> the older brother to Caleb Nesbitt. Staying with the same formation. Bunch twins left, split backs. Give the ball to Nesbitt again. Gain about four yards on that play. A little tougher sledding on that one, but that's still a good positive run for Nesbitt there. That's right. You like to see that from right, him. Right, right. He's a kid that the coaches are high on. He's just a – he is just a sophomore. But the coaches like him. And they're going to keep him back there in the backfield. It's him, Crowder, and Alexander. Same formation. I'd expect to see maybe a cross off of this. Give that to him, and there, there it is. is. Give the ball to Xander. Union County kind of had the same thought process you did right there. Yeah. yeah they were there waiting for him well, when they, he got the ball. They set that up. It's going to bring up third and seven for the Rockets. I would assume this is two down, uh, four down territory here. <clears throat> I agree 100%. Need a good gain here to make that fourth down. Uh, if you go for it, a little more manageable than seven. All right, McAllister's out to the left, twins to the left, tight end to the right, wide out to the right. Pistol formations, Xander in the backfield. Gonna roll out. Lofts it up, completed to Preston Morgison. That's a first down for the Rockets. Another great job with Morgison there. The quarterback's pocket broke down. He rolled out, and Morgison did a great job of uh, coming know, back to him and extending the play. At first I thought he overthrew uh, Turley. <laughs> And uh, Morgison was just sitting there waiting for yep. it. That's a great play. Good First chemistry and 10. between the two right then. First 10 for the Rockets on the 23 yard line. Got twins to the left, twins to the right. Tabor's offset to the left in the gun. Crowder takes the snap. It's a pass. Looks like the screen. Oh, it and it's picked. And Crowder oh, makes tackle. the tackle. That defensive lineman read that screen, dropped back, and he jumped up and did everything he could. He tipped it up to himself. Made a good play. Union County's going to take over at midfield. You have to give Kreiner credit. Right, uh, right. That guy outweighed him probably by 150 pounds. And it is a touchdown if you don't touchdown make a tackle. Touchdown saving tackle, it really was. It's hard to see what's going on when you're watching this little screen trying to move. <laughs> That's a Crittenden County second interception on the night. All right, you had a turnover. Does Union County take a shot That's here? That's yeah. what Crittenden County did in the first half. They've got to keep them out of the end zone right here. And, uh, Big defensive series for Crittenden County. They've got McGowan and Turley in at these ends. Twins to the left, twins to the right, out of the gun, offset to the right. It's a pass. Okay. Incomplete. You know, I've seen uh, – I saw one of the cheerleaders say it it's, when they were doing their cartwheels there, it was wet. And you started to see – this second half, we've seen three or four times a player slip down. Right. So, that, that surf – their footing is uh, becoming a little bit of a factor because that, that kid right there, he he lost his footing. It was a low pass and he fell down. It's going to bring up second and ten. There's five minutes and ten seconds to go in this third quarter. Rockets up 21 to six. Looks like Crittenden's kind of kind of hang out in this nickel defense, uh, kind of expecting the pass a little bit more. It looks like they've 
been pass heavy so far this second half Union County has. Twins to the right, twins to the left. Looks like McAllister may be coming on a stun. He is taking a shot. Good defense by Logan Bailey. Great play on the ball. And that's a good no call there by that uh, ref. Uh, Union County receiver was wanting it, but uh, I didn't see anything there. Uh, they both went up for the ball at the same time, and uh, Bailey made a great play on defense there. 5 1 in the third quarter, third and 10. Their home announcer sounds like Fred Brown. I haven't heard him. <laughs> Might be Fred Brown. I doubt it. It sounded like him, I thought. That squirrel, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's third and 10. Mike's chasing squirrels. We got trips to the left, offset. Running back to the left in the gun. It's a pass. Rockets bringing pressure. It's picked up by Logan Bailey. Bingo. Two back-to-back -back great plays by Logan Bailey. Uh, stuck with that receiver. He flipped his heads down the field. He located the ball. He high pointed it. You just cannot, you can't draw it up any better. Great play. Amazing coaching. I know that's something they've worked on all offseason, and it's Another turnover for Crittenden County's D tonight. And another football slant into the I, turnover I trash can. That one. There you go. There you go. First and 10 for the Rockets. That ball is looks like it's on about the 16, 17 yard line. It's hard to see from this angle. Their announcer is saying the 19. We're going to go with him. Two tight ends set for the Rockets. Pistol formation. Preston Morganson wide left. Gives to Xander Tabor and he is hit. That's by not Xander's fault. No. Oh no, this that was uh, Seals Porte number nine. And he was there when he got the right. ball. He came on a stunt. That was just a miscue on the blocking. He, like he said, he was blitzing and he just didn't get picked up. It's going to be a loss of four on the play. Brings up second down. Oh, he caught it! We had a lineman catch that one. That's, that's Ian Ellington. Catch that ball. It was deflected. He was on a horse, jumped up and picked that thing up off the grass. Oh, well, don't let him pull you. Ian Ellington's an athlete. He is a fast, strong, quick little dude. And that was just a great, great play. He's going to bring up third and six. Uh, it's third down and six. I don't know why their their guys got that thing. We're running a heavy package here and looking to run the ball. It looks like two tights. Will they bringing everybody up? Give the ball to Xander up the middle. Short gain. He's he's not going to get the first down. It'll be about fourth and four, I think. It's all right. It's going to give the Rockets a chance with a punt here to flip the field. They stopped Union County with that turnover. It was was that big play on first down by their linebacker stunting. And you don't call that play right there unless you just trust your defense. He knows that uh, he could uh, punt that ball down the field, and he's got a lot of trust in his defense to make a stop right here. It'd be a good time for uh, Braxton to put Tuck another 50-yarder the out there. Fourth and five, 302 to go in the third quarter. Rockets lead 21 to six. Braxton with the punt. Holy cow, it's another good one. And that's going to give a rocket bounce down to the 30. Oh, oh he touched it. Why did he do that? That is exactly what you were talking that, about, that's Mike. That's it, right there. That's why if you're not going to catch it, get away from the ball. There's no need to get around it. So that ball was rolling to a stop. I didn't even see the Union County player there. He tried to pull a fast one and pick it up. He got hit. Fumbled again, and Rockets get the ball. I just don't, I don't understand what he was seeing or thinking there. I just, that's that's just detrimental right there. That's crushing for the Union County Braves. Well, it scares me anytime we have a punt. If you touch it uh, on the opposite team that's getting kicked to, it's a live ball. We touch it, it's just dead. Yeah. That's the second turnover for their punt return team. Gives the Rockets good field position at the 33-yard line. Give the ball to Xander Tabor up the middle. He's Cutting around, got a good block by Caleb Nesbitt. Right. 
Gain about four or five yards on that play. Injured player down on the field for Union County. And there is a flag laying beside right. him. Looks like he's got a cramp. Definitely something in his leg, knee area there, so. Uh, that's Iverson King, number 81 for Union County. He's up on his own power, wa that, hobbling off. Holding? Looks like we got a holding call, and that's. He was the flag was laying right beside the the player laying down on the ground. Once again, that's going to put the Rockets behind the chains right out the gate. It's going to make it first and twenty. That's going to limit your play calling too, right there. That's going to cut the play sheet in half with that long of a distance going. Woo. We've got the uh, trips to the left, Preston Morgan to the right, Xander Tabor offset to the left. Got a screen to Baker. He's made a missed tackle. He's running hard. <clears throat> he picked up about 15 yards on that play. Oh, we've got and another there penalty. Is another flag on the play. And Thompson is not happy about it. He is pretty animated. It looks like it's going to go get Crittenden. Not sure what We've got the call a player is down. Yet. They do on this side, I think. Again, uh, our coaches are not happy with this call. I hear Sean keep saying we were still running, so it must have been there. They called a late hit, and we're still running the ball. He's going to get an explanation from the White Hat. If he doesn't get a. He's not going to like that explanation either. Still going to be first down. I, I didn't see what the call was. Uh, I believe it was a late hit there, and Thompson was arguing that the play was still going on. Because our guy was still running. Right, the and, I, and I believe he was right there. I, I think that uh, one of the officials had already thought the play had stopped and threw a flag. And uh, Well, we're taught from third and fourth grade that you play until the whistle's blown. And right. That's right, or you get yelled at. <laughs> All right, we got twins to the left, twins to the right. Gun formation. Xander Tabor is offset to the right. It's going to be second and about 15. Ball's on the 38-yard line. We just got a sideline warning for our coaches to back up. We're going to run a screen here to Preston Morgan, and he's caught it. Made a guy miss, made another guy miss. He's still running, he's jumping. Man, he's exciting with the ball in his hands. Man, I love it. That kid has just got some moves and quickness. <laughs> it's gonna bring up third and about six, maybe? Third and five? We've got a minute 45 to go in this third quarter. Rockets still lead 21 to six. They're driving. Going to the toss to Xander Tabor. Makes a guy miss. Got a lane. Small gain here is going to bring up fourth and probably two. There just hasn't been that much run room on that toss uh, since they've had some success early with it, but it's it's been tough sled ever since then. Xander, you're starting to see uh, yeah. this rocket running game. Um, they got another player down on. Yeah, right they're side. cramping. They're all cramping, yeah. is what it is, and it's their first game this of the is their season. First game. But uh, I, you know, I don't know how many guys they got going both ways. Right. It looks like they've got about half the numbers we do, you know. We're all – we've got 45, 50 kids this year. So are we just taking a – We've got an injury timeout here. Okay. Uh, we've got a Union County player down. We can't see his number. But uh, I think it's cramps. One minute, 18 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Rockets are up 21 to six. While we got a break in the action, I'm gonna thank some sponsors, Shar Solutions on the New York Stock Exchange, Homestead Realty, when you are buying or selling, Farmers Bank, your trusted hometown bank since 1899, YTG Insurance, call for a quote today, Mike and Stoner's Barbershop, when a haircut, where a haircut is an experience, H&H &H Home and Hardware, your one-stop shop for 
everything. And I do believe they have just about everything they in do. there. They uh, do. Here come the Rockets back out on the field. All right, it's going to be fourth and three. Fourth and three for the Rockets. They're going to go for it. Trips to the right. Xander's offset to the right. Taking a shot to Turley. He's got him. He caught it. It's a touchdown. Uh, I didn't get the catch. I didn't turn the camera quick enough. That was a beautiful pass by Kreider down the sideline. Yeah, that was beautiful, beautiful throw and catch right there. Turley did a good job getting separation on that route, and Kreider threw a threw a good ball up to him. And of course, when when you're that tall and that big, he's, he's an easy target to throw to. It's going to make the score 27 to six. There's 106. Perkins is here to make the kick. It's good. 28 to six. Your Rockets lead. 106 to go in the third quarter. We've got some excitement off over here to the left. I don't know if there's uh, some extracurricular. Something's going on. I can't, I'm too short to see. I'm really too short. Try, try and catch someone on the way back and figure out what's going on over there. But More importantly, that's another Crittenden County touchdown. I think there's some people touchdown. not social distancing. Yeah, with their fist. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, that's the second touchdown pass for Luke Crowder tonight. They said I did get the catch. Good. Yeah, I, I, Lee Conrad, he's watching from Hopkinsville, Kentucky, former Rocket quarterback. He uh, he texted me and said, you got the catch. So You're not doing too shabby there, Mike Crabtree, on the old camera work. You're doing a lot better than I did. I got fired pretty early tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you zoom in, you got to be on it because it's it's certainly uh, – The problem is when you're watching that, to stay with that, you can't really tell what's going on. All right. Perkins here to kick off. Nice kick. Received at the 20-yard line by Union County. Number 20. He's got some running room. Off around to the left. He's got two guys to beat. And they got him. Big run. Preston Morganson turned him back. Same stuff what we were just talking. You can't let your guard down. Yeah, but yeah you really can't. But that we also, it, I'm a little it bit looked like Coleman Stone was in on that tackle too, number yeah. 55. But we, a little bit after that last touchdown, that doesn't make my heart, you know, beat as fast as it would have yes, five minutes ago. So uh, 53 seconds to go in this third quarter. Rockets lead 28 to six. Union County is set up nice here, knocking on the door of the red zone. It looks like they're at about the 20 yard line. Rocket defense is going to have to stand tough here. All right, trips to the left, running back to the right, or split backs, low snap. It's a pass. Pass is caught. It looks like number 23, Chris Hughes. And he's, they're finding a, uh, some success on that rollout. Yeah. And the one guy cutting off in the flats about five yards deep. We're just, we're so geared up for the run right now as we have all been all game. So it, it's hard, it, we're getting faked out on that. That's what we're doing. Yeah, it was a play action. Right. Uh, looks like we got twins to the right. Twins to the left. Single back. That receiver move, number 23. I saw it. I didn't know if the ref was going to call it. It's going to back them up. Make it uh, first and goal at the 11. Union shooting themselves in the foot again there. Well, that's what we like to see. We'll right, take right. every single thing we can get. Right. We've got 26 seconds here in the third quarter. Clock is running. Could be the last play of the quarter. Twins to the right, twins to the left. Seals Porte is to the left of the quarterback. It is a pass. He's looking to the left. He's, they're saying he caught it. He picked it up off the grass. It's hard for us to see here. Yeah, it's going to stand. That other ref hasn't came in and changed the call. So yeah, It was it tough was to see from up here. It, it did look like close. it could have hit the ground, but uh, that ref's a lot closer than we are, too. Sure. 
Uh, 4.9 seconds to go. That's going to make it 28 to 12. Yeah, man, I really would imagine Union County would have went ahead and uh, went for two after missing that field goal earlier. It looks like they are. Yeah, it looks like they are. The kicker's going to go back off the field. And I think that's a smart thing to do for them. But, but hopefully we can come up and make a stop. A stop here would be crucial. Union County's going for two to make this a two-score game. 28 to 12 right now, Rockets lead. And it's a rollout pass. He's going to keep it. He didn't make it. Uh, that's that's huge right that there for Trenton County. Yeah. So that's both of their extra points have not gained anything. They, right. they didn't they didn't right. get either one of them. Uh, and what that does is uh, Union County is going to have to go for two and get it get the two point conversion on next of the, each of their next two scores to even uh, tie the ball game back up. So we're getting ready to get the ball back here. Right. And you know. It, it, these penalties, a couple of them we've questioned up here, but we're right, not down there. Right. But we're keeping the ball on the ground when we do. And, we'll, and that's when we want to run the time off the clock. And, and that's, yeah, at. we're going to get the ball back to start the fourth quarter right here. We've got to run the football. We've got to keep the ball in our hands. Run the clock out. You know, with our defense playing as well as they have been, uh, you know, you're all right with, uh, you know, running some time off the clock and giving the ball back to Union County's offense because you just have to have faith that we're going to go there and stop them because we've done it all ball game. All right, Ethan, who we got back? Uh, we've got Preston Morgison and Alexander back, and you've got Caden and Braxton as your up backs. Uh, All right. I say that because the ball could very easily go to one of them, too. Or and I am back. Try. Okay, you're Tanner's back. back. Tanner got cold and had to go get a sweatshirt. Oh, I had to go to the bathroom. I had to go to the bathroom. Got got to line keep, at halftime. You know, to keep from uh, yeah, uh, on side here, right. too. I, I, it's awful early for that, but also desperate teams do, you know, desperate, desperate things. things. There and, you and, go. So I could definitely see that happening, but I, I just don't know right here. He comes with the kick. And he's going to send it downfield. Looks like Morgison's going to field this one. They're going to do the cross. He's going to keep it. Made a guy miss. There's the horn. It's the end of the quarter. He gets it back to the 31-yard line. Not a bad return. Yeah. Union Seen County. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Number 81 on their team's uh, – cramping up again. He is able to get off the field. That's the end of the third quarter. Rockets lead 28 to 12. So break it down, Ethan, what do you got? Uh, so far what I'm seeing right here towards the end of the game is like we've, we've touched on it. There's been a lot of cramping going on and a lot of gassed Union County players. And, and that says something, you know, to us, because we're, you know, of course we got to play a game and they haven't yet. And that makes a big difference. But you know, so as you know, we're a well-conditioned football team. We're playing discipline tonight. We haven't had one player going down with cramps. And when you get in these late stages of a tight ball game, you know that, that makes a so huge important. difference, oh, right? Goodness. You know, if you have your, your one of your best players come out with a cramp, that, that limits your playbook, your play call, and what you can do. And that's just got to be so beneficial for a coaching staff at Crittenden County to not have to worry about your players doing that. But and you that, called that in the first half. You said they're, they're already tired. Right. Right. You know, yeah, I saw a lot of hands on the hips, but I mean that's just that's just crucial. And props to this coaching staff. We've really got our players in good game play and shape. Well, they all should be in shape because that's the only thing they can yeah, do they, for about two right, months. Right, right. You would think it looks like the Rockets are going in that monster yeah. unbalanced package. It's going to be a direct snap to Xander. Here they come. One guy broke through. He's got a lane. He's got a first down. Gain about 15 yards for Xander Tabor. And I think you're going to see by that maybe that uh, the Rockets are going to try to pound yeah, this thing to Line victory. it up and run it again. What do you think, Mike? Yep, I'm trying to move this where we can see that part of the field. I love it. Oh, yeah, line it up and let's Unbalanced run the Unbalanced to the right, and they're not adjusting to that. Yep. Whoa. Number seven came off the edge, made the tackle as a short gain. Going to be second and eight, second and nine. It looks like we're going to stay in this Wildcat monster package. Uh, Winders may come back and play quarterback right here, but for the most part, we're going to keep our run-heavy offense on the field. And it looks like we are going to stay in that monster package, wild card, whatever you want to refer to it as. Union County has made some uh, hefty substitutions. It's a pass. No, he's going to run it. Made a guy miss. Oh, there's a flag. 
He's still on his feet. He runs over another Union County player down to the 32-yard line. That's going to come back. We're going to get a block in the back call right here against Crittenden County. The Crittenden County friends are, uh, fans are frustrated. You know, A lot of them are yelling, it's football, let's play football. And uh, You know, I have to agree to a certain extent. Uh, that looked like a, a clean hit to me. I just didn't see a whole lot there, but there's a reason that I'm up here, not down there. So uh, We're going to... Line it up. Coach after Thompson that. is not happy. Yeah, there's a lot of people. It's going to be. Uh, it's going to push the Rockets back to second. Oh wow! And we don't know yet. Oh. Uh, now Sean just got a right. That's good. Kind of, and you see, Crider's coming back on the field. So we're going to go with more of our balanced pass, run, offense approach. Uh, Looks like Thompson was called for the unsportsmanlike. Um, I, this is what I don't like is that ref is kind of trying to keep running down there to Sean. Yeah, After he just called him for – so uh, it's going – I don't gonna, know that I've ever seen us do this far back. <laughs> so it is second and 40. Get the calculators Five. out. <laughs> Ball's on the 15. Got to be careful with Going the ball right the here. Going with the screen to Morganson, uh, and he just slipped through his hands. It's going to be third down. There wasn't much room to run after that catch anyway there. They looked, Union County was pretty prepared for that screen pass. Uh, third and 34 is what that says. What do you have, Tanner? Uh, I, don't think, I don't think the scoreboard's correct. We're trying to figure it out. It's a long ways. Uh, it's about 40. Third, and, or third down and 40. They're going to give it to Xander up the middle. He's fighting, but he's going to lose yards. And that's a that's a good, smart play call right there. You keep the ball on the ground, and you're going to put the ball back in the hands of your defense, who's been playing really well. I like that call a lot better than risking an interception or, you know, something. It's going to bring up the difference in Union County since we've got those three or four calls. Their momentum is they've built that back up. Right. Well, their defense is playing hard, and, and they're going to you're going to get the ball about. The, you know, at least the 50-yard line right here, I'd imagine. So, uh, so gotta, it's fourth and a mile, 10 minutes, 13 seconds to go. Rockets are up 28 to 12. Winners is going to kick this. Good end-over-end -end kick. Could get a good rocket bounce. And that guy is still right there by the football. Going to be downed on the 40-yard line. That is another... 45-yard punt. It's just a, he's doing an amazing job, and not only is he punting the ball that far, he, he if you watch him on that rollout, he's stalling. He's taking as much time as he There's can no return. to let his coverage team get down the field, and he's doing a great job with that. So, I mean, Braxton Winters is a special teams gets overlooked a lot of times, but this has really been the story of the ball game tonight. I, yeah, they've caused two turnovers on their job. punt return, and he's had some exceptional punts. So it's going to be first and 10 for Union County on the 40-yard line. 9.56 to go in this fourth quarter. They're down two scores and two two-point conversions. So a lot's going to have to go right for Union County to get back in this. Under 10 minutes left in the game. <clears throat> That's right. Twins to the right, split backs in the gun. And it's a pass. Quick pass, hit the five-yard out. And Preston Morgison with the tackle. Uh, some extracurricular activity going on over there, it looks well, like. Well, their fans, it was right on their sideline. Preston shot underneath the kid, took his legs out, and he was laying on top of Preston, and he's acting like he wasn't down and still trying to run. So yeah. Preston made sure that he. 28 to 12. The score, Rockets lead. Uh, look to see the ball in the air a lot on this drive. That, you know, that, you watch that scoreboard that time just keeps ticking and ticking, and they're down two possessions right here. Approaching the nine-minute mark. And uh, this is, I mean, Union County's throwing the ball. Right, now. right. <laughs> and they're going to have to. And they've got to do it with a sense of purpose. 
Hitting these short five-yard routes, and the quarterback bounced that one to the receiver. 8.59 to go in this game. Rockets lead 28 to 12. Big third down right here for Trinity County. I would have almost expect Union County to go for this regardless at this point in the game. You have to. It's fourth down territory. It is, it is. I'd also look, you know, if, if they did get the first down here, you'd almost have to think that they're going to have to switch to the hurry up offense and, and get out of that huddle because that takes a lot and of it time doesn't off the clock. Seem, it doesn't seem like that's something that they're comfortable with. Right, it doesn't. So uh, it's third and five. We got twins left, twins right. Again, hitting that three yard out. He's going to be short on that. Generous spot by the uh, referee. And, uh, it's going to be fourth and one, right. fourth and two. Another thing about that hurry up offense is that you got to be in shape to run it. And you could tell with our offense running it as well they're, as we do. They're jogging slowly back to the right, huddle right now. Yeah, yeah. Clock's approaching eight and a half minutes. Time is not on Union County no. side right now. They are quickly running out of it. And just not a lot of sense of purpose right now from them. All right, same formation. Twins to the right, twins to the left. Backs to the right. Looks like the Rockets bringing pressure. Tyler Boom's coming on a stunt. And he threw it up, and it's complete to number 20. Kane Pollard. And I don't know how that quarterback even saw I feel like that he threw, threw up a prayer. I think he did, too. I think he knew that a receiver was going to be in the vicinity because Tyler Boone did a great job of uh, making his job very uncomfortable back there for him. Well, it was a low snap. Right. He picks it up. Tyler Boone's in his face and rocks the quarterback. Uh -huh. And he just chunks it. And I don't know if our defender fell down. Anyway, first and goal. On the seven for Union County. Clock just hit under the eight minute mark. 7.52 to go in this game. Looks like they're going in the I formation and try to run this in. That's not gonna probably work out real well for them. Oh, he's sacked. Number 79, Dylan Yates finished him off. Number three, Braxton Winters got him first. That's a big loss. Oh, and, yep, and that's huge. That that the clock's running. They're you know they're with, they're out of striking distance right now. Or second and goal at the 15. Great play, great job by Courtney. We knew what was coming there, and uh, they have not had any success running the ball. No, they sure haven't. They have found success with that dink and dunk pass game, right. which we saw Caldwell had success. Union County's going to have to throw the ball here. It's just right. it's what's twins coming. Twins right, twins to the left. It's a pass. He's taking a shot. Nobody oh, is no. there. Incomplete pass. Six minutes, 54 seconds to go in this ball game. Going to bring up a big third down right here. Ball's flying over. <laughs> <laughs> We've got two balls on the field. Now three. I'm not sure what's going on down here. They're firing up the old Tom Toms over there, trying to get Braves excited here. It's going to be third and seven, third and goal from the 17. You got twins to the right one. Wide out to the left, split backs. <clears throat> it's a pass. And he had Dylan Yates in his face again. I don't know if that was supposed to be a screen pass or what. It doesn't look like the line. It doesn't look like everybody's on the same page there. As soon as the quarterback had it, there was four or five guys right in his face. And Dylan Yates is... A quarterback's right. nightmare. Right. He he was back there a couple times last game. He's been all over the defensive. Oh, this is the best pass rush Trenton County's had in a long time. All right, here it is. Fourth and goal from the 17. <clears throat> Rocket Nation is getting loud. We got trips to the right. Get that, get that, get that. 
He's scrambling. He's running. He's going to try to make it on the ground. He ain't going to make it. Tyler Boone with the tackle. It's going to be Rockets ball deep in their own territory. Reset this game. Rockets lead 28 to 12. Six minutes, 41 seconds to go. You'd like to see a 90 yard drive here that eats up about six minutes and 41 seconds of this game. That would be ideal. Uh, we are really in good shape right here. Yeah, you know, not the best field position. Here's the key no penalties. Absolutely. And no turnovers, no fumbles. And they can't. Give the refs even a smidgen. Got Crowder back out at quarterback. <laughs> and looks like they've got uh, three backs. Winners, McAllister. And, oh, he took a shot to Tyler Boone. Uh, I, 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 I don't understand. I like the idea of it, but we also, we really need that clock running. Right now. Well, it stopped right now at six yeah. minutes thirty-four seconds. <laughs> but uh, this full house backfield out of the gun. Uh, we we saw a lot of success with this last year. It's the first time I think I've seen it this year. I think you'd call it a double wing pistol, maybe, or yeah, go, something of the matter. You've oh, got. Uh, looks like the old pirate. Well, the quarterback still in the gun, and you've got yeah. split backs on either side, and then you've got, got the, the tailback. Right behind him so it's kind of a full house backfield uh two tights right here union county's coming on stunt that's number nine crouching up to the line <clears throat> they're giving the ball to xander he's got a hole he's got oh he oh, got tripped up he did he, he, turf monster got him there <clears throat> he had Still some a good like game that. looks like it's going to be about third and third and six Clock's running, approaching the six minute mark. Full house backfield, two tights. Gives to Xander, makes the guy miss. He's got the first down, still rolling. Pushes himself. Big play, big play. Right. right. Takes himself out to the 25 yard line. Clock stops temporarily while they set the chains. Oh, and then that's first downs, we just gotta keep doing this. First, and then, then it will take off again. Each first down, just another nail in the coffin. That's right. We're gonna be able to eat all, uh, another two and a half, three minutes off of this. <sighs> Unless they start taking timeouts. 5.45 to go, clock's moving. Full house backfield. Actually, it's unbalanced to the right now. <clears throat> Backside pursuit got Xander, and he's got to get down. He's got to get down on that and not let that guy drive him out of bounds. But I believe the clock will still run either way because it's not within uh, two minutes in the fourth quarter. Correct? Is that? I don't know. Yeah, the clock. I if you got out of bounds, the clock stopped. I think that is true, but it's got to do with two minutes left in the fourth quarter. Right, that's how it is, college and professional rules. I'd imagine it's going to hold true here. Well, it's still running, so I like it. Yep, that's good. We've got that unbalanced to the right, and Union County's loading up to that side. Feel like we got to counter it there. It's going to be third and uh, eleven. Union County takes a timeout here, 4.48 to go. And that's going to leave Union County with one timeout left. They've got one timeout left. Rockets are up 28 to 12, 4.48 to go in the game. Third and 13. I want to thank our sponsors, uh, Whitetail Properties, Mark Williams, we want to thank Riley Tool and Machine, grinding away for Friday football. First United Bank, are you ready to switch banks? Deer Lakes Golf Course, home of Rocket Golf. Seaplant Federal Credit Union, now on Main Street. We also want to thank Marion Eye Care Center, Dr. Adria Porter, optometrist. Magnolia Bank, Derek Myers, mortgage specialist. Fraser and Massey Law Offices in Marion, and a special thanks to Marion Baptist Church for letting us use some of this equipment. <clears throat> All right, so it's a third and 12. 
a passing situation, but with the uh, position in the game, you might think the Rockets run it here. They could run off another minute and a half this ball game. Yeah, you've got to stay on the ground right here if you're Croton. Full house backfield. They're going to give the ball to Xander. Bounces it out to the right. Stay in bounds, and there's another flag. Oh, man. I, just, I don't imagine that's going to be good for us, the way it's gone so far. Right, yeah. I would assume they would decline it. <clears throat> and it looks like they are going to yeah. decline it. It's going to make it fourth down. Four minutes, 41 seconds to go in this ball game. Rockets up two scores, 28 to 12. They are declining the penalty and force the Rockets to punt. The clock should start running here, right? Yes, it will start running. The Rockets will be able to run another 25 seconds off. Letting the refs get back in place here, and then they should start the as clock. As damp as this grass is, these refs probably got uh, wet flags as much as they've been throwing them down on the ground. Well, our offense is still out on the field. Looks like they're going to just run the clock out. Yeah, it might take a delay of game here. Yeah, Rockets going to run this clock down and call a timeout. Take it down close to the four-minute mark. Call a timeout with four minutes, ten seconds in this ball game. We're going to hit some more sponsors while we can. Shara Solutions on the New York Stock Exchange. Homestead Realty, when you are buying or selling. Farmers Bank, your trusted hometown bank since 1899. Johnson's Furniture, your top choice for sales and service. Ellington Detailing, where we keep our rockets looking sharp. Par 4 Plastics, our team is rocket proud. Al Starnes, Coldwell Banker, real estate. Always a rocket. All right, set the game, fourth and 10. Rockets gonna be punting here. Union County's gonna get the ball with good field position. Gonna be roughly, roughly midfield. All right, Braxton's back to punt, it's a good snap. They're coming with it. It's a good kick. He's not going to catch it in the air. It takes a Union County bounce, and they grab the ball. Tackled it just across midfield at the 49-yard line. 401 in this game. Rockets up 28 to 12. Here we go. Time to make a stand. <laughs> well, it's certainly going to take a lot for Union County to get back in this, but all it takes is a touchdown, two-point conversion. Onside kick. kick. Yeah. There you go. That's how it happens. So you like to see the Rockets just not let them score. Put this game. Hey, and, and you want your best, your defense. You hang your hat on your defense. Here it is. They got a chance to put this game away right, right here. Right. Feeling pretty good about it. One thing about it, it is awful quiet in this stadium. I don't know if Rocket Nation is nervous or what. They forget to cheer right now. Great tackle by Preston Morganson. That guy is slow to get up. <coughs> Number 20, King Pollard. And he looks like he's going back down. Clock's running, and they're not in a hurry up mode. Oh, no, they are not. I, well, you've got to switch out of that. You got. I wonder if they have to bring the play in from the kid on the side. Yeah, I don't, but you always I mean, got to have something prepared. You've got to have a two minute offense you prepared. Know, that's what we did in 1997. Yeah. Yeah. All right, trips to the right, one wide out to the left. Back to pass, number 14. Oh, that's gonna get tipped up in the air and it's incomplete. Stops the clock, three minutes, 13 seconds. Third down and 10. Big third down right here. Obvious passing down. Uh, we've done a pretty good job of neutralizing the pass all night. A couple plays here and there. 
like like Tanner said, they're they're just they're still in the huddle offense, no sense of purpose. It's almost kind of like they've almost thrown the flag up. Well, trips to the right, one wide out to the left. It's a pass, taking a shot, and he underthrew it. It's going to bring up fourth down. Incomplete pass always stops the clock. Right, which the clock was stopped on the play before, so the hurry up. Then 3:09 to go in this ball game. Rockets up 28 to 12. Tyler Boone in the defense is calling for the Rocket Nation to make some noise. This could be the ball game right here, folks. Big, big play. Here, here comes the Trinity County fans standing up. Twins to the right, twins to the left. <clears throat> Running back is to the right in the gun. Here it is, it's a pass. Nice pass, caught, complete, first down. Logan Bailey with the tackle. Gain of about 13 yards on that play, just enough. Beautiful thrown ball. Clock's gonna stop till they get the chain set. It'd be right at three minutes when they start it. Ball's at the 37 yard line. Clock's running, we're under the three minute mark. They're still in the huddle offense. First and 10 Union County. All right, Rocket defense, let's make a play. Trips to the left. That would be our side. All right. Drop back to pass, and it's incomplete. He had pressure from Dylan Yates right in his face once again. Crittenden's got Monday and Perkins back as a two high safety, so they got that extra safety back there just to prevent something, you know, some sort of deep pass to get by on the outside. Uh, they do, with that two high safety look, you do have to do a good job of closing up the middle of the field because it tends to leave a gap there. So uh, look to see linebacker, whoever the middle linebacker is, Tyler or Braxton, dropping back and sealing that hole for them. They're right. going to have to start taking some shots. Right, they are. 237. Uh, but this three-man pass rush we're bringing right now with McGowan, Easley, and Yates, it's still putting yeah, pressure that's, that's on. That's great. You can sit back and run a nickel defense all day with three down linemen who can blitz like that right. or get back there like this. Twins to the right, twins to the left. Sheffer receives. He's got a scramble. He's got Lathan Easley all over him, and you think he started cramping up. They're going to get him for intentional grounding right here. Yeah, he was running for his life. It, it almost seemed to me he would have been out of the pocket. That's what I was just thinking. He, he was gone whenever he did that. Right. That's what they're saying, no flag. Yeah, yeah it shouldn't be a flag. Yeah, yeah that, that's a good call. I, he, was, he was way outside of the pocket. So why are they moving the ball back? Should be third and ten, I would think. No. They might have called it a lateral out of bounds there. Yeah, he's going back. Yeah, okay. They've been, you know, it might be these refs first game too. <laughs> third and ten, we're at two minutes, 28 seconds in this ball game. Rockets up 28 to 12. We've got twins to the left and to the right. Running back offset to the right in the gun. Shepard receives the snap. McGowan's got pressure in his face. Oh, Perkins just misjudged that and the Union County receiver dropped it. That could have been bad right there. Perkins was sitting back there and just mistimed his jump slightly. I thought he was gonna pick it off. Regardless, it's incomplete and fourth down. Here comes another shot to the end zone. 2.21 to go in this ball game. McGowan, Easley, and Yates are your three down linemen. Twins to the right, twins to the left. Got a good pocket. Throwing to the sideline, number seven. Oh, good play. And McAllister knocked that ball out. 
That was a great play by McAllister. He read the quarterback's eyes the whole time, flew over there and got up and knocked the ball down. Brandon County's going to take over with two minutes, 13 seconds to go. We should be able to, if not, get really close, run the clock out right here. So I'm show, It shows they've got one timeout left. Yep, Critton in here should be able to run this clock down. All we need is a first down right here. One first down is going to seal it. Yep. Here comes the offense. Ball, 36-yard line. Looks like they're going to come back out in that three-back package we were talking about earlier. McAllister, Braxton, and We're Alexander. needing a tackle. We're needing an offensive lineman. Maybe not. Okay. Yes, we are. We call a timeout. I would not want to be that player that did not get out there right now. <laughs> I would not. <laughs> that is one thing I made sure of my entire career is to not be that one. It is a bad, bad it day. It is a bad day. While we're standing here, 2.13 to go. Rockets have the ball, 28 to 12, they lead. We're hoping that we can run the, we can do the first down, you guys said. Right. And one first down, and then we can pretty much kneel it out. Right? Exactly right. Yeah. Union County's got that one timeout left. First and 10, ball's on the 36. So. Again, we want to thank our headline sponsor, Whitetail Properties, Mark Williams' agent, making this pop broadcast possible through the Crittenden Press. Here we go. All right, full house backfield in the gun. Give the ball to Winters. Look at that, first carry of the game. Short game. Looks like Union County is going to hold on to that timeout. Let the clock run down right here. Again, another one of their players are limping. He's going to go off number seven, Gideon Adams. He's played he's played a good game tonight. He had that uh, – McAllister knocked that pass out of his hands there on that fourth down play. 137 to go in this ball game. Clock's running. Second and nine. <clears throat> Crider's letting that clock run down. Here comes Snap. Gives the Xander. He's running hard. That's gonna Still give on us. his feet. It's going to be third and one. That was a good game. One minute, ten seconds to go. And Union County is going to keep a hold of that timeout. And probably should just take it home with them. Right, right. <laughs> Add insult to injury. I because believe this, this game is wrapped is up. Over. Under, one right. Under one minute, 28. Right. Crittenden County Rockets, 12. Now he takes there the time out. Well, we've got a little break here. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, the comments, we love watching, reading the comments. Thanks for the input and the feedback. Uh, all of you guys that tuned in and watched, you guys are the ones making this happen. And like we said earlier, it does mean a lot to the players getting home and seeing who all viewed it, how many views there was. So you guys really are doing your part at home. We really appreciate it. Looks like we're knocking on the door 200 people watching this right, thing right, right now. We're going to give another shout out to uh, the rest of our sponsors, Shara Solutions. Homestead Realty, Farmers Bank, Rally Tool and Machine, <clears throat> First United Bank, Deer Lakes Golf Course, Sea Plant Federal Credit Union, Johnson's Furniture, Ellington Detailing, Par 4 Plastics, Al Starnes Caldwell Banker Real Estate, YTG Insurance, Mike and Stoner's Barbershop, H&H &H Home and Hardware, Marion Eye Care Center, Magnolia Bank, Fraser and Massey, and special thank you to Marion Baptist for allowing us to use this tripod and mic. Gives the Xander. He's got the first down. Still on his feet. Stay in bounds. Still on his feet. Good job, There we go. Bounds. That's going to do it. Yep, that is going to wrap this one up. Probably have to take a kneel, and then that'll be it. Clock will stop once they move the chains, and they ain't moving real fast. Xander did kind of hold his All hand right. there. It looks like he kind of got, took a bad hit off it, so keep an eye on Rockets that. Rockets in the uh, victory formation here. 
clock's running. They're going to take a knee. This ball game is over. Great complete football game for Crittenden tonight. It really was. We really needed this. We did. It's a huge morale boost. I feel a lot better after watching this game. I'm really impressed. Uh, coaches did a great job getting them ready this week. This is a completely different ball club than we watched at Caldwell. It is completely different. We took the words out of my mouth. Yeah. You know, whenever we – we were at this last week. We kept saying we just don't look like ourselves. We right. don't look like ourselves. Tonight we did. He did. We, yep. You know, Crowder had a, a really, you know, a good. I know he threw two picks, but still, for the most part, we had a, he he had a good game. He also threw two touchdowns. That's right. right. I was getting to it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he looked a lot more comfortable tonight. The offensive line really stepped up. They played well tonight. Uh, we played a complete football game against a physical team tonight. We 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 outlasted them is what happened. They were going down with cramps, injuries, and uh, we stood true the whole night. We did. I don't think we saw a single one of our kids having any trouble with that. Right. No, and one comment I'll make on on Kreider, I think you saw his potential. Those two pa those two touchdown passes were great passes. Right. On the money. I mean, yeah. right on the money. So uh, we know you know he's capable to do it. The staff's got com confidence in him. And his confidence is just going to get better and better. So, you know, it's a big win for the Rockets, and here they are doing their end of the game handshake. Yeah, I do like this. This is good sportsmanship on both sides, and uh, we also want to, uh, you know, congratulate the Union County seniors. Uh, we want to wish them a healthy season. Uh, and 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 there's there, you know, uh, Jeremy Tack. Of course, he graduated from Crittenden County. Yeah. Uh, he's their athletic director. Uh, we didn't even talk about it really. This game was made Wednesday, right, at, at right. noon, we, and so neither team had a whole lot of preparation. They were scheduled to play next week, but a whole lot of pre wasn't a whole lot of time to prep. Well, Caldwell decided they weren't going to play. Then we found out that we didn't really want to go to the other side of the, of the well, state. We had the opportunity to come next door versus right. drive seven hours. And my understanding is we were going to play them next week at home. But since they went ahead and we did it, we've got Murray, Murray at our house next week, and we will be hopefully video having this up on video yeah, like we'll, we did tonight. Yeah, we're going to live stream that game uh, from Rocket Stadium next week, and our opponent at this time is Murray High, and uh, they're a top 10 team in 2A. They've got, uh, if you watch WPSD, the number one player in Western Kentucky, right. their nose guard, Sebastian Lawrence is his name, and he is a bad dude. So, uh, and, and Murray, I, I think the last time I saw they were ranked seventh in 2A. And I'm not sure who, oh, they beat Webster last week 49 to seven, something like that. Yeah, it was a big, you know, Webster's still struggling. They, they are, you know, but Murray. They, we get, we they got, are, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a heck of a football team coming to town next weekend. And playing better teams only helps your, you don't we don't get a whole lot of stuff out of playing a team that you just slaughter. That's right. You play up, you play, you get more experience. It, it gives you a, a better. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Well, it makes you better. Right. That's the, it. The better competition you play, the better you're going to get. And uh, and this team, their One goal. Or somebody just asked. Twenty-eight to twelve was the final. Rockets win this one. Yeah, twenty-eight to twelve. There you go. You can look at it. Uh, but the better teams you play, the better it's going to be. And, and what I was getting at is this team, their goal is to make the elections in Kentucky. And you're going to have to beat some good teams to get there. We found out, you know, we made it to KCD last year in the semifinals. And uh, made it to the semifinals the year before the Campbell's. Re regional championship. Or, regional yeah, I'm sorry, championship. regional championship. Yep. championship. So uh, they want to go further than that. And to do that, Hey, they're going to have to get better. You're right. They are. And we saw that this week that they did get better. And they made that step tonight, so that's and good. you know, every week it's going to be, with, with the world we're in right now, every game may be the last. And they, those kids got to play like that. That may be the last time you get to play as a team together. That's right. And so, you know, anyway. All right, we're going to wrap this up here in just a second. Uh, I want to tell you, post-game stats. And I think Chris also told me he's going to try to get some of uh, the, uh, the players' interviews. That will be on. They'll upload that a little later. Uh, we're going to wrap this up, and we'll see you next week at home. Same Rocket bad Field. time, same bad channel. Yep. So the press. Cr the Crittenden Press YouTube channel. And, again, if you're watching this broadcast, create a YouTube 
what is it, Ethan? All you do is punch the subscribe, subscribe button. button. But you, you have, have, have to have a YouTube a, account. It's you have really to have a YouTube account. Up. So if you do that, that's how you can subscribe to this, and then you'll be notified when that coaches show comes up on Thursdays. Also, the post game show that will come up on Monday. But it also helps us. Uh, it helps stream this stuff. Um, the more subscribers you get, it, I don't know. It's it's technical it, stuff. It cuts out a middleman if we get enough subscribers where we can have our own thing where we don't have to go through, which is another layer that we have to learn. And it'll make go. the broadcast even better. Right. All right, final score tonight here at Union County, 28-12. That's the Rockets victorious. They move on to 1-1 one and one at the season, 1-1. Uh, one uh, Union County Falls to Owen one We play Murray next week at the pit in Crittenden County. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It means the world. Please like and subscribe this video, and uh, we will see you next week. At home. Right. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Bye, Mom. Right. Tanner! What's up? <laughs>